I unironically love grocery stores. Finally! There's dozens of us. As of right now, I know th there's three of us. There's me, my mom, and whoever just wrote that. What do you mean grocery stores are so ass? It's like one of the only stores you go to where you... Everything you buy, you eat. You go to Toys R Us, you get a little toy, you get a little Lego set. I'm not, I'm not saying it's like a negative thing necessarily, but you don't get to eat the Lego set after you complete it, unless you want to, you know, perforate your small intestine. Okay, not everything in the grocery store you eat. I don't eat garbage bags. Suppose I don't eat reusable canvas bags. I don't eat the receipt. I love the grocery store, man. Because eating is great. I will say, though, I, I think I have to rework my grocery. And this is all, of course, because I'm a Costco executive member. I think that I have to rework my grocery habits. I can't just be going to the grocery store every day anymore because it's not convenient or feasible to go to Costco. I mean, like, you, you can't go to Costco with a little messenger bag on. You're going to buy, what, like, six crispy Crunches or something like that and then walk home? That's like a once a week, once every two weeks, twice a month sort of deal, which is fine by me. But I will say, like, yesterday, I was like, uh, I... My my baby, my toddler, she was like, I want some chocolate milk. I poured her a glass of chocolate milk. It was like one third of a glass. And I was like, oh, I got to go to the damn grocery store. I had it, it, like Costco was it was too much of an ordeal. So I just walked to like a closer grocery store. And I'm like, look, at look at this scam, man. Are you kidding? Me? We got 16 croissants for five ninety nine at Costco. You want to start charging me $3.99 per croissant? Per croissant? Have you lost your mind? I'm like, I'm embarrassed to say this because someone in chat said, did you, this guy thinks about uh, Costco constantly. I did Google last night. I Googled Costco tips and tricks. And there's a lot of tips and tricks you might not be familiar with with Costco. One of them is, you know, sometimes they have gift cards for restaurants, but they go on clearance. So you could get like $50 gift certificates to shitty restaurants for $41 instead. In case you wanted like $50 worth of garbage food for 19% off or whatever. <laughs> like in case you really, like maybe your, your grandma has a birthday coming up or something like that. And you're like the only place she wants to go is Swiss Chalet or like Montana's. There you go. Garbage food at a discount is the Costco model. Excuse me. A lot of, of Kirkland Signature products are actually quite tasty. My man. I know. That's what I'm saying. They have great vodka. I don't think they're allowed to sell alcohol in the in Canadian, or well, at least in British Columbian Costco's. Did the full game come out? No, it did not. I'm just, I'm demo-pilled. Muffins go crazy. My dad definitely went insane over the um, over the Costco muffins when I was a kid. I can't remember which one it was, but it was it was like dusted with a thin layer of like crumbs on top of it. I guess it's not crumbs on it, if, if if they're meant to be there, they're crumbles. If they're not meant to be there, they're crumbs. Might be coffee cake. They went crazy for the coffee cake. The rotisserie chickens. Chicken thighs, $3 a pound. That's crazy. Those muffins are like 50% of an average person's daily caloric intake. No, they're 50% of the recommended caloric intake. They probably are like 15% of the average person's caloric intake. 
you know, for all the negativity that that entails. I mean, even we, I've noticed it in myself. Thank God the Peloton's there. 90 minutes at 160 watts today, by the way. Today, just a nice leisurely long ride today. I've been eating croissants for breakfast just because we, we have 16 croissants. We got 16 croissants. They, they last like four or five days. My baby eats one a day. I'm like, if I eat one a day, maybe we only end up throwing out like four or five of them. Maybe on the last day. I, I, I'm Now I'm like, fucking, I got to buy like a chest freezer or something like that. And if I get the chest freezer, then my ass is going to, you know where I'm buying a chest freezer? I'm buying a chest freezer from Costco. And then I got to, in order to get a chest freezer from Costco, we're going to have to get like a new fucking house. Can you buy a house at Costco yet? I know you can get house insurance, but I don't know if you can get, I don't know if you can get a house at Costco. If I could buy a house at Costco, then my ass is going to have to furnish it. You know, I'm going to be furnishing it from Costco. It's never going to end. They got me. They got me in the cycle. Anyway, slash marker. Tape to tape. No, the full game's not out yet. We're playing the demo because I'm crazy. I'm a, I'm a crazy man. What can I say? I'm just... I, I, it's, my own hockey team, there's not even any point to watching the games anymore. Yesterday was one of the best games we've played in the last month. We lost 6-4. to four. Just start me up here. I might as well get my hockey fix through a different source. <laughs> have, I, have I picked my superstar yet? It's been a minute. They're going to add apartments above Costco moving soon. <sighs> Listen, I am a, I'm a Yimby, but I think I'm not at the apartment above Costco phase in my life right now. I, I think I'm at like detached house or townhouse within a 10 minute drive from Costco part of my life. It After, if we go through like an empty nest thing, you know, when our daughter's older and she moves out, I would love to get the, the apartments above Costco so that I could just take the elevator down like straight to the deli section or something like that. But right now we need just a little bit more space because she's running around like crazy. We got all sorts of toys that uh, you know we got to put somewhere anyway versus the meatballs but i haven't picked a, I haven't picked a superstar yet oh you know what i bet i probably started a campaign one night and then was unable to complete my campaign because i had some baby stuff to do <laughs> that sounds right i lived above a whole foods it helped me realize how much the food there sucks wait we got to start a new campaign man this is not right let me get a new... Because this, this is like halfway through. I'd like to apologize. I don't know how to do that, though. <laughs> By the way, don't... If you're going to insult Whole Foods on anything, please insult Whole Foods on their prices. Because the actual... Like, the, the quality of a lot of the goods inside of the Whole Foods is pretty solid. It's just the, the price is outrageous sometimes. Like, you should not be buying, like packaged chicken breast at, at Whole Foods. You will actually, if you thought people went crazy over like the Loblaws chicken breast, where it was like five chicken breasts for $36, do not go to the Whole Foods meat section. Your phone is gonna, you're gonna need a new SD card in order to take all the photos to post on Facebook. Give me Kelly Jelly. I, I did play a little bit of, of, of Kelly Jelly. She has a Spinorama PK Subban style tornado. What do we want here? I would like to greatly boost my team when I'm losing, which does seem to happen from time to time. Can you name five Taylor Swift songs? <clears throat> it's going to be tough. Um, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Love story. Give me a second here. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely thinking. Um, just give me a second. I, I can do this, but I also have to focus on the game. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Love story. Ooh, smash it. That's not a Taylor Swift song, I think, but that's okay. Please get down here. Take a, take a quick cross check. Oh, give him the Jacob Truba. I can do this. There's uh, Shake It Off. Shake It Off is a gimme. 
I need to name two more Taylor Swift songs. Okay, ready, 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 ready? Not ready? Then I fine, we take these. We take we don't take those. The one she did with uh, Panic at the Disco's frontman, Brandon Yuri. It's called uh, Me, I think. Ooh, cheesy. <laughs> so that's four. How about Red? That's got to be one because that was the, ooh, that was the name of her album. Is that good enough? He did it? Thank you. I appreciate that. There's, oh, you know what? There's also Wildest Dreams I Had. I'm not familiar with the whole oeuvre, though. Also, please stop insulting Artur's Silovs. Yes, he's our goalie. He got lit up last night. He's not our... He's not supposed to be in the NHL yet. He's literally, like, 14 years old. He's supposed to be the starting goalie for our AHL team right now. Our starting goalie got injured by a rogue katana attack that, that ruptured his Achilles heel sometime in November. Our backup fucking sucked. So he, his actually got, actually got demoted. The backup to the backup also sucks. But that moved Arthur Silovs up. His, his like uh, timeline's been advanced so far that he's now our backup, which means he occasionally has to play games. Although last night was her first, uh, was his first, uh, his first start in the NHL. Anyway, passes grant a speed boost. Shots will go through players. Let's try that. And who's going to be shooting the most? Probably Mick Shaggy, if I had to guess. Okay, he didn't get... There was no katana attack, okay? <laughs> I'd like... I didn't know I could edit my lineup by pressing the space bar. Now I, I, I don't have control... Oh, okay, never mind, I'm okay. Mark Jerky is... A, what is happening here? Mark Jerky is evolving. Will it bouncy puck, low gravity, or both? Well, this is a good time to mention the game is not out yet. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that Mark Jerky will evolve to have a bouncy puck. And then let's play against the meatballs. He is evolving to have bouncy puck. So please do not insult Artur Silovs. It's possible that, that one day he might be a serviceable NHL starter. Goalies take a little longer to season. He's literally seven years old. He's not supposed to be on the team yet. Chloe Crockett. Hey, I don't want to spoil anything about um, Physical 100. But I'm going to... These are mild... My, it's not like, here's what happened in the last episode. But it's a mild Physical 100 spoiler, okay? Ooh! The heck was... Where's the, where's the puck, dude? It's stuck on his face! Physical 100 as a show has made me realize bodybuilders actually aren't that strong. Now, I'm not saying that, like, I could squat more than them. I, I, I think I got to restart my campaign, man. I can't, I can't knock him off the puck. He's crazy. But relative to their, their, their weight, bodybuilders, not, not as strong as they'd like to have you believe. Okay, hang on. Let's, let's build up some momentum with Shaggy here. Okay, ready? Okay, we're going to get a full running start. This is Scott Stevens. He, he, he can't be knocked off the puck. It, it can't be done. It'll reset at halftime. I guess that's true. I could just wait for a minute. <laughs> I don't have the, the stick throw with this, with this team on. Oh! He was, he was just stalling the whole time. Okay, get ready. You got, you got x-ray shot on McShaggy. Give him the one-timer. What the heck was that? You trying to do a little Connor Garland move? You don't have the right. Okay, great save, Artur's. Send them. Oh, she's so fast. Watch this. Ooh. And then. Oh! <laughs> she's a cheat code, man. Look at this. Ooh, ooh. And then we're gone. And then, oh, oh, oh. And, ooh, squeeb. 
put my hat on. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. That was maybe the craziest thing in Physical 100 for sure is the the guy literally box jumping more than his actual height. That I mean, like, there's there has not been a single episode of this show where I was like, oh, I could do that. But every single episode, like, gets less and less like I could do that. Like, the challenges from the, the last episode are just comical. Like, when they were introducing what the challenges were, I'm like, no, can't do that one. Can't do that one. Certainly don't think I could do that one. The torch one? Um, well, I could do it. I would come in last for sure. Which of the competitions would you have pissed? Would you have picked? I don't know why I said it like that. I think the only one, if I was against normies, the only one where I would have a genuine chance is the Sisyphusian trial. Pushing that big boulder up the ramp and then letting it roll down the other side. I think I think that plays to my strengths the best. But I still think I would probably, you know... <clears throat> I don't think it would be my best. Or I don't think I would be the best at it. Like, holding the, the stone, that would probably be my second best and it would be torture. Um, climbing the rope, I don't even think I would make it one cycle. Hang on, just give me one of these! <laughs> She's in! She's uh, not much of a shooter, but I'll put some blame on that, on myself there. I actually, the other thing, and, and my wife was gassing me up. She was like, actually, I think you'd be pretty good at the jogging one. Like, my, my aerobic fitness is pretty good right now. Now that I, I after watching it, knowing that it's not just the, the, like, basically who can sprint the fastest. Instead, it's like, essentially, who can maintain the fastest pace for a, a, a long time. Maybe. Okay, I, I gotta take a shot at some point. But, uh, I, I still think the boulder is like, I mean, I don't think I'd be good at it. I want to be clear. Slap it. But I think that that would be my best chance. Well, I don't think any normal person would be good at any of those games, except possibly the jogging, but... Okay, one of these. Hey, you can't stop her, dude! I can't believe that didn't go in. Okay, horrible outlet pass. It's over. <laughs> if that hits the net, it's over. Impressive. You made me use 5% of my power, but can you handle my Biden blast? Feeder. Give her one of these. I can't believe it didn't go in. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take my elite victory. Don't, oh, don't get too cocky, kid. Beautiful stall there. Anyway. Would you have chosen Arena A or Arena B for that first challenge? I don't know, man. I think it... If... if let me be clear. <clears throat> Give me sp temporary speed boost on outlet passes. If I somehow was in the top half of the who can hold on to the monkey bars for the longest game, which I would not be, I would have picked, not to be like the most sexist person in the world, I would have picked the smallest woman. The people on the show were so honorable in who they went up against in wrestling. They were like, like the big guys were matching up with the big guys. The small guys were matching up with other small guys that were like in their discipline. I would be like, nah, man, <laughs> no disrespect. Give me the influencer. <laughs> but that's because I don't have a chance. Like if I'm, if I'm on physical 100, I got no shot. So I gotta, I gotta be a heel just to have a chance. What a save. What a defensive breakdown into what a save. Whew, why is she green, dude? Bro, you're green. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Never mind, he's dead. Okay. Feed her. Give her the PK. Give her the... Oh! Please. Great pass. That's not in! I, I did... We picked the water bottle. Why is he green? Oh, because he has a temporary speed boost. 
Of course. Well, great defense here. We got five uh, individuals all chasing the puck carrier. Very familiar with that. It's a Tyler Myers school of defense. Oh, I mean, come on. I mean, what are you supposed to do? What can you do? She's too fast. She actually can't be stopped. Like, what are you supposed to do? Well, you, I guess one thing you could do is not go, like, so far out of position, but... She is kind of insane with it. Oh, it's over. <laughs> I agree, by the way. Like, Physical 100 is actually... It's a great show, and it keeps getting better. But they'd need an average 100, where they just take, like... Yeah, I'll take passes can't be intercepted, please. They need an average 100, where they just get 100, like, completely normal people, and then have them do, like, almost exactly the same challenges, except, like, literally they would not be able to move the ship. So you gotta, you gotta adjust that one. That's true. Mr. Beast or Ludwig should do that this year. Streamer 100. Natty Physical 100. I don't think everybody in Physical 100 is on steroids. Obviously, all the bodybuilders are on steroids. No, like, I don't want to burst your bubble necessarily, but... I mean, come on. Um, oh, excuse me, I'm just going to score the greatest miss of all time. Okay, his passes can't be intercepted, so just feed him. Oh! What a shot. Um, but, like, some of those... I mean, you know what Physical 100 is? It's probably not a scientific uh, study. But it... The, the people who are doing the best on the show are, like, not necessarily the people that you would expect. Like, I, I expected on the strength competitions, like, the bodybuilder would go crazy. I didn't realize that the, those muscles are actually all for show. Instead, there's a lot of people who are like, um, well, I'll be honest, for sure. I doubted the losers and the skeleton athletes. Because I, I thought, you know, I, I'm not saying you don't have to be in amazing shape to be, like, a loser. But I thought it was basically, like, 10 seconds of sprinting. And then you just sort of, like, you're tobogganing for the rest of the, the time. <laughs> Turns out there's actually a little bit more to it than that. And, uh, you know, there's, you, you look at it like one of the guys and you're like, oh, he's so muscular. Ooh, how could he lose this one to this guy who just looks like a, a, a relatively average dude who obviously is in unbelievable shape with his shirt off? And then he just gets bodied. Oh, it's over. Ooh, 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 ooh. She doesn't have to do it all herself. Anyway, I would... It's, it's a fun show. I... Okay. Recommendable, for sure. Kill him. Okay, we're free. We're sprung. We're gonna do a cheeky little... Oh, she's she's got it. She doesn't have it. She never had it. If I have one criticism about tape to tape, so many of my shots end up being... Backhands facing away from the net between my legs. Now, like, one or two of those to be like Trevor Zegris. Just realized the first time I've ever said his name out loud. I, I don't know if it's pronounced correctly. She's a cheat code, dude! <clears throat> Forgot what I was saying. Anyway. Oh, it's not over yet. Um, also very impressed by the baseball player. It just goes to show you, being tall is like a cheat code. Block the, block the lane. Block the lane. Great lane blocking. It's over. She can't be stopped! Oh! Oh, it went off her leg, too. So good. 
I also loved when um, the baseball guy was just cheering people on, but he's the only one speaking English. And I'm like, brother, you're just talking to yourself. Like, no, no disrespect. Everyone else is up there, like, speaking Korean. And he's just like, come on, guys. You could do it. I can't believe it didn't go in. I can relate, though. It's just, like, I do that at my family gatherings sometimes, like with my in-laws. Send them. Oh, oh, out, out. Excuse me. Can you get open for an outlet pass? My only other criticism of tape the tape. There should be a little strategy menu where you can tell your team, like, hey, if it's a two-on-one, always set up for a one-timer. You should literally never be fishing for anything else. Okay, nice try. Uh, it's a breakaway. Oops. She's actually a cheat code. She can't be stopped. It's actually, like, it's, it's not fair. You think because she has, like, zero shot power, she's not going to be able to do anything? But she can't be stopped. She's broken. She's what Willy was supposed to be. You're not wrong. And then you just like, okay, great, great pass. See, now I'm, I'm falling victim to um, Florida Panthers in the early 2000s strategy. I'm like, at all costs, feed the puck to your only good player. And it's, it's causing a little strategic breakdown here. <laughs> you just do this instead and then whoop. Feed him. Get a speed boost. Give your whole team a speed boost. Okay, feed him. Give me a speed boost. Oh, dude, she's already max speed. You can't stop a, a fully juiced Kelly, Kelly Jelly. Let's park the bus. <clears throat> it's not a speed boost. It is. It says a temporary speed boost when you receive a pass. I agree. This game could use uh, could use crazy P. By the way, I'm sorry I spammed what if Saw 2 was called Scene. That's alright. I think it's... I think that's a, a great message, honestly. But then you, you do run into the obvious problem. What happens with Saw's... I mean, they're about to make Saw 10, right? Scene? You alright? You still got like another 7 to go or something. Seent, Sant. <laughs> you could just you could go Seent 3D. That's a gimme. Hey, watch this. Feed him. Feed her. Easiest goal of all time. I mean, this. We gotta work on our positioning here. This almost at, at this stage of the game, it's like it's not even. It's not even challenging. You just send her up the wing. Do a little spinorama, pass the defender. Do a little stop and go, and the goalie's out of position. When was the last time you saw a 3D movie? It was probably some uh, like a Marvel something, if I had to guess. I can't be stopped, dude! When did you get good at this? I just, honestly, I have, um, I just have a, a, the, the human cheat code on my team, Deion Sanders. We got the mercy rule. Looks like the Leafs against the Blackhawks. Oof, oof, oof. No need for a stick. Improve offensive stats when you're knocked down. Randomize shot power and accuracy on every shot. Hey, check this out. We should do wild shot because Kelly Jelly's um, shot power is zero. So, like, she's going to become unstoppable. I mean, her accuracy is 88, to be fair, but... Now, can we beat the referees? I was laughing because, like, apparently... I saw an r slash hockey that the Leafs versus the Blackhawks, the Blackhawks, the Leafs were the 
biggest favorite in like NHL betting history. They were like a minus 610 or something like that. And then all the comments were like, okay, that settles it. I'm putting $100 on the Blackhawks. Check the score this morning. Leaves five, Blackhawks two. Thanks for the money. I mean, not for me because I didn't bet on it, but I'm sure like FanDuel.com is like, thanks for the free money. But I guess they kind of, they win no matter what now that I think about it. Ooh. It's all right. It's all right. It happens. The refs are back, baby. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I think it's a bug that the ref, on the face-off, the refs always win it with like a lob behind them. Or maybe that's the, maybe that's the referee cheat code. I guess he just throws it behind. Maybe, maybe I haven't been paying close enough attention. Okay. Give me a temporary speed boost on Kelly Jelly, please. Oh! <laughs> She's in. She's not in. That's the point. Well, I thought that if they were cheating, like, they would cheat a little bit more, like, um... I mean, they could, you could get a cleaner face-off win than that, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh! Oh, they let it go a second earlier. Hey! You're gonna need some bounces to go your way. You wanna beat the cheaters? She's got a speed boost. He's got a speed boost. Ooh! Feed, feed them. Sorry, it's only period one. And we get greatly boosted when we're losing. So the longer we're losing, the better it is for our chances of winning. It's science. I can't believe it didn't go in. Their, their whole team is cracked. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm getting roasted here. Team is out here looking like five Tyler Myerses? Well, that's not possible because penalties don't exist in this game. Rush him, rush him. Okay, good. Freeze it. It's not like we're going to win the face off. Maybe they accidentally win the face off into their own net. Stranger things have happened. Huge hit. Huge hit. Get fed. It's fine. It was a great chance. You know, you can't make them all go in. All you can do is... Whoa, dude! What the hell? He didn't save it from there? What's wrong with my goalie, man? They didn't even show a replay. That's a, that's a scam. Oh. This is this is a boss fight. Okay, that I got sucked way out of position there. <laughs> oh no, that should have been in. Help. Okay, good good hit. Good hit. That's a clean hit. You know, honestly, it's a tight angle shot. I, I can't be mad that one didn't work. Insane outlet pass. I got to give you credit. That was a Quinn Hughes-esque pass. Temporary speed boost. This is what the doctor ordered. Oh, we're back. We needed that one. It is a three-period game. Look at this. Beautiful. Honestly, I don't think she does that without the... Without randomized power. That, to me, that was probably a 100-100 right there. <gasps> Why did you overskate? I think I've realized... Kelly is so fast, even when we lose the face-off, she can get the puck first. <laughs> oh, ow! Is that, is Mario Lemieux? She's out of control, dude! The shot was from like behind the blue line, or behind the red line. I mean, that's a tight angle. Okay, switch to Kelly. Switch to Kelly. Kelly me, Kelly me, Kelly. Three seconds. 
No, no free ones. No freebies. That good. Hey, great job. Great job. Dude made a save. He did the Tommy Sallow. Greatest Swedish netminder of all time. Hey, get low, get low. Block the good, good block. Where's the puck? <laughs> I still remember. 2002 Salt Lake City Olympics. It's over. You can't give Kelly that much space. She's like Pavel Bure. I was in the middle of reading Bram Stoker's Dracula. I looked up from Renfield licking flies off of the walls of his padded cell. Somehow the puck comes down from the ceiling, bounces off of Tommy Salo's forehead, bounces into the net. Belarus beats Sweden. How does that happen? Of course it didn't matter. No, nobody's taken out Canada that year. Oh, oh. Okay, you're lucky. I got a little too, a little too freaky with it. That was not a good pass. That's a gimme. That's not a gimme. That's squandered. You're off the team next year. If I get the, I'm making my own team like Michael Jordan. I'm becoming player general manager. You can't kill Kelly. What is dead may never die. Like LeBron, Le GM. Okay, maybe a controversial opinion. I think LeBron James is pretty good at basketball. Like, I, I haven't watched maybe like a single game. I can't believe he stopped it. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen him play basketball. But from what I read online... Good save. I can't believe it. From what I read online, like he's one of the best in the league right now for sure. Great, great goal. Great goal. He's all right. He's made some baskets. Who do you think's the best in the league? You're asking me, pound for pound, with, with my knowledge of advanced basketball stats, who's the best player in the NBA right now? I'd have to say, um, for me, it would probably be Devin Booker. And then second would be uh, Boban, the only NBA player who's ever been in a John Wick movie. Oh! The only NBA player who has ever had his lower mandible shattered by Keanu Reeves karate chopping uh, a book into his mouth. Giannis, my dude? I don't know Giannis. He's probably on some team that hasn't ever won anything like the Milwaukee Bucks. Semi, semi, semi. Oh, okay, okay. That's I walked into that. I was getting. I was. I was. I was. I was on a. It was on a. It was, uh, I was on a fishing expedition. Is what I meant to say. Okay. I mean, Kelly Jelly. She's got daylight, and she squandered it. She closed the window on the daylight. That my passes can't be intercepted. Uh, <laughs> three people got killed by one shot. Kelly, Kelly, you can get this puck, dude. She's going coast to coast. She didn't have quite enough time to go coast to coast. Who the heck is Tingus Pingus? <laughs> Me when I forget to put chamois butter on my, uh, you know what, before my 90 minute Emma Lovewell feel good ride. I can't believe, I, I put myself in the spot to block the one timer. And they just shot it right through me. It just it literally like it, it went through my guy's body. There's, there must be like a puck shaped hole in his shin right now. Why am I even trying to win the face off? You don't win the face. That's how you win the face. Oh, 
It's okay. Where's my lady? <laughs> Fair enough. Wasn't well handled. You gotta love this, though. The real winners... I can't believe it. The real winners of this one are the fans. I mean, it's a 5-4 game. That's a great time at the arena, no matter who you're rooting for. Feeder. Oh, it's over? <laughs> it's over for her? For her neurological activity, at least? Get in there. Great interception! Oh, do something! Dude, pick my pocket. Please, I need this one. Not, not the best angle I could have had. Oh, no! It's okay, she's so fast. Dude, you really only need her on the ice. Like, she's fast enough. She can, she can back check. Her controller never gets unplugged. She's got a good attitude. Everybody else on the team is, like, replacement level. Oh, no. Great. A, a most important save. One minute. Okay, focus up. This is where you pull your goalie. Not like they've done that much for me anyway. Unbelievable. This is your shot. It's not your shot. Okay, she's scared. Oh, it's not my moment. McShaggy, do something. Do something. You're supposed to be like team captain. At least throw a body check or something. Half of my team deceased due to the power of the referee slap shot. Oh. <laughs> oh! From the most unlikely of places. Sometimes those low percentage shots can work for you. Look at this. The, the 360 no scope. Right through where grandpa puts the speed stick. With 17 seconds remaining. It's the greatest show on ice. Don't. 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 Boo! Boo! You gotta clog up those lanes, man. What happens when you lose? Win or lose, the campaign is over here. It's just a question of whether you you win your campaign or you lose your campaign. It'd be a great time to get possession of the puck. All right. Take the shot. No. <laughs> That hurts. 6-5. But just like the, um, just like Paul Pierce's meme reaction image, I got one more in me. Let me see if I can purchase something from the shop. I can select this. Activate to throw your stick. Dash like it's 94. Let's get dashes on the team. Superstars, we have to unlock anymore. I mean, I I wouldn't mind trying Calvin Dord out again. Why don't they just get a big guy to, to sit in the tiny net? They did that on Sports Science. Calvin Dord? I mean, Kelly Jelly, I, I'm glad she's not here because she's a cheat code. Give me Calvin Dord. Let's send him here. They did that on Sports Science. They sent a, um, like a sumo wrestler into the net and then had him try to stop shots from like a career fighter in the NHL and he saved like zero pucks. I mean bribery is really good. We got to do whatever we could do. Get an even bigger guy? Why don't you go get a tighter shirt? They didn't have any. We checked. All-time great Transformers 2 quote. Okay, so he's got Dash. 
Send the oh, that's two fa he's in the stands, man. Oh, he thank God. I thought we might have lost him for the entire game. He sprung. Look at this. If that Wow! Really? Get out there. And then a little tic tac toe. Okay, I should have just taken a shot. Hella offsides. Yeah, okay. Look, this is not sim hockey, okay? If you want to play simulation hockey, well, honestly, like, you're kind of out of luck. The, the appetite, unfortunately, we've been manufactured to believe the appetite for an actually good NHL game doesn't exist. EA's like, hey, I know our company is worth, like, you know, $75 billion, but we just, oh, the times are tight this year. I don't think we have the kind of capital to make, uh, to actually put effort into our NHL game this year. You understand, right? Oh, that's the yo-yo. Yeah, we, the referee is throwing body checks for us, which is nice. It's, that's how I, I, I won my first ever attempted campaign of this. And it was entirely due to, to bribery. I didn't realize how, how good it is. Whoa, you hit me though. That's, okay, I gotta, I gotta let the ref handle his hits. Beautiful, cut down the angle. Spring him, he's not sprung. Bro, we're gonna, we're gonna fail if we tie. How sad is that? Rush him, rush him! They're just killing the clock. Beautiful, okay, you're gone. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 it's a two on zero. Oh, they missed the pass. Thank God this is like encounter one, okay. Over there, just getting back to me. Okay, dude, he's no Kelly Jelly. Let's just call it like it is, he's no Kelly Jelly. I gotta hand it to him, it was a good save. I gotta hand it to him, it was the worst shot I've ever seen. Please squeeze it short side. We're gonna, they're not even gonna give us overtime. We're gonna fail, we're gonna fail. Oh wait, we're still, the clock's still going. Maybe we're not gonna fail. It's not over. That should be in the... Their goalie is having... This is like how Swiss goalies play against Canada in the Olympics. Okay. Thing with dash, you should try not to be in a position where you're going to dash into uh, an opponent or you'll die. Great, great check. Great check. It's my bad. I got... Yes, it's me. I'm the problem. That should be in the net. I'd like to thank Martin Brodeur for that incredible save. I'm in! Good poke check. I gotta stop getting so precious with it. I gotta stop getting so close to the net. I'm so lucky this team is ass and so scared about my the future of our team. Score a goal, dude! Score a goal! They can't even hit the net, and I'm, I'm struggling to get one over on. Great play. One time me. You ever consider cutting the angle down? Thank you, Mark Jerky. Thank you. Oh, my God. It's not even a good goal. I think we just, we literally crashed the net. Like, what, what happened? He scored on his own net. That's what it took. The goal celebrations kill me. Dude, All the only goal celebration I ever see is this one. The Yager salute. Honestly, give me devastating body checks on McShaggy. He's the one throwing the most hits out there. Mia Mental is evolving. Who's Mia Mental? She's our right defense player. What have I done? What have I done? Let's let's have her um, become bigger. I've, I think I've I think I've ruined the game. I, I can't click on anything. I think I opened like one too many UI menus and soft locked myself out of there. 
out of their Unity instance. Just start a new run, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry, it's a demo. It happens. We got no Kelly again. I mean, is it time for Willy Bree? Well, I got a problem with Willy Bree. Willy Bree has no cool stat. Or no cool ability. I guess, it would, honestly, give me Rory McShaggy. We'll take the McShaggy bros. And we'll stick with Bribery. We got the McShaggy combo. Willie is not goaded. Well, at least I used him once and I thought he sucked. But I think it's because like he's just a skill player. You actually have to aim your shots. I basically want to hit left shift and just like win. So maybe I'm the problem. Okay, good, good. He's strong on the puck. You got defense. Walk the line. Walk the line. Wait for your moment. There you go. The referee's clear the path. That almost went in. Now that's good hockey right there. Oh, dude! This team can do it! As long as we got a referee in the middle throwing out body checks, we just, you set up the cycle. I mean, dare I say that was a little vintage sedinery right there. Ooh. This is on hard difficulty, okay? Don't, don't insult me. This is not normal difficulty. Plus two rubber. Zero shots, zero hits, zero time on attack. Let's do bouncy McBounce. Your shots always bounce away from the goaltender. And le let me take that on, uh, on right D. Now this time, I'll take a bouncy puck and I'll play against the meatballs. Do all Canadians know as many hockey players as you? No. Um, there are some, believe it or not, who know more, but there's, I just, I've been watching the sport on and off for like, you know, 30 years. You just pick some up. I used to collect hockey cards as a kid. I played the NHL games like once every three years. I watched the Canucks. Watching the Canucks is a great way to learn the names of your opponents as well, because they usually are the ones who have the puck. And it's a great way to learn the name of the Canucks because then you go to the subreddit and people are like, why did we sign this guy eight years, eight and a half million dollars a year? Hey, bye, Luik. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. It's in. Okay, set up the cycle. Oh, that was so in. It was so free. Uh, uh, why would you stop? When I, when I, when I switch to you, I'd like you to keep skating, please. Great saucer. That not being in is uh, criminal. That pass being made by my brain was criminal. Okay, two criminal acts. Have to, I deserve that. I deserve that. Adam Gray, get out, get out of my net. I'm going NFL Blitz. It's not bad goalie. I left him out to dry. That's That one's on me. I'm not losing the Aqua Teen Hunger Force, okay? Feed him. Right in the chest protector. Oh! That's in. That's, you, you can't stop that one-timer in, in 2D games. Do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's cool. We're right back in there. It's just a beautiful play. A trailer for the Tetris movie just dropped. Mm, pun intended. Dropped, you say? Like the way that a... Oh! The way that a puck drops? Or, I mean, a block drops in the game of Tetris? Sorry, I was so... I'm such a hockey-pilled puck cell right now. Uh-oh, you gotta, you gotta protect those rebounds. Beautiful. 
Okay, you got to do something with... After you have the puck, you got to do something with it. Maybe set up the cycle. That's, uh, you, you, when you play tic-tac-toe like that, you can't stop us. I mean, like, it, it helps that the referee knocked down half their team, but... Oops. Oops. We got too much puck movement. This crew is good. All started with a cheeky little um, assault with a deadly weapon via the stick throw. Okay, you don't want to miss those. Her stick traps the souls of its victims. I would also like, on, on maybe this is by design, but I feel like um, on defense, there's a very limited... <laughs> uh, very limited skill toolbox available to stop your opponents from scoring goals. It would be nice if they added like a dive, like a sprawling dive. That was Kelly Jelly esque. That way you could at least like defend the one timer. Poke check, I think, is like a little too. It's too real. Like that's almost real hockey. I can't believe it didn't go in. I'm, it's no mercy. I mean, if they added one, I mean, if they just basically made like a an NHL game with current rosters, <laughs> I'd be all in. But I, I, I just something on defense, at least beyond just like bumping into them, which admittedly, you know, works more than I originally thought it would. Hey, take this. Oh, OK. Turns out you need your stick to carry the puck. That one's on me. You got to admit they're they're pressing pretty hard here. I'm free. Fake the shot. Pass it. Oh! Is he okay? Except for Canada and the US, what country has the best hockey players? Finland's been pretty pogged up in the, in the international competitions over the past, you know, five years or so. Sweden, and, and I say this as somebody who is... You know, I root for the Canucks. We've got a long lineage of, of great Swedish players. In international competitions, like every year, or every, every Olympics, I guess, or every world championship or world cup of hockey, et cetera, et cetera. It's always like, this is Sweden's year. And then they like go undefeated in the group stage. And then they lose in the quarterfinals to like Czechia, who's also a, a good team. Don't get me wrong, but... Okay, that was not a smart play. I want Sweden to do better because a lot of their players are on my favorite team. And also because blue and yellow is a great color combination for jerseys. Okay. I gotta admit, you know, it, we're up 4-1. But my goalie is kind of like the unsung hero today. Like, they, they've been making some serious saves, more than usual. Great, great dash there. I really appreciate that one. So will your chiropractor... Like, look at that. You can't coach that. I'm gone. Squee! <laughs> It's too easy. I mean, he literally just cuts in from the side and then, I mean, you could do whatever you want there. The stutter step. Oh man, there's a chance. I'm feeling like we got a chance on this one. Wait, is the, is the movie about Tetris, by the way? Is it like, what if Tetris was real or is it about the person who made Tetris? Like the Evgeny Tetris story. It's about neither. It's about Tetris. Let me think. Let me think. We don't really do a slap shot too much. Let me get a speed boost when you're not in possession of the puck. And I will give that... Honestly, this seems like it could be kind of sick on, on defense. Let's give that to Mia Mental so she's got a chance.
It's Alien Invasion Tetris. Isn't that that's just pixels, right? Which is also I mean, the movie's so nice they made it. The movie's so ass they made it again. That should be in. Get open. Get open. Okay, Gretzky's office. Outlet pass. Walk the line. Like Johnny Cash. Oh, come on. Come on. You need a speed boost. You see, this is where a dive would go insane. That's fine, though. Oh, dude, we're free. We're free. Nobody's even close. Throw your stick at the goalie. Let the puck walk in. I shouldn't have gotten so close. What was I thinking? It was so free. Go. Feed him. Feed him back. Oh! Throw the stick. Throw the stick. Where's the stick? I threw the stick. Where's the stick? There it is. That should be in the net. They deserve that one. I'd like to thank my referee there for, for helping me out. And it's over for you? Oh. <laughs> I want to throw up. This is just, it's the grossest play I've ever seen in my life. Oh, 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 we should have gone back one more. We could have gone back one more. Maybe like two or three more. Great, the self pass. Oh, horrendous play. Give me, yeah, yeah, throw it. You're free. Dude, that's how you got to be proactive with your stick throw. Good try. We're learning, we got more tools in the toolbox than just a simple one timer. Now we got the super one timer. <laughs> it was so free, and I just <laughs> I went for one extra pass. Oh, 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 oh! What was that? Yeah, throw throw your stick. That's bad. I deserve that. I deserve that one. The ten timer. Would you rather have intercourse with Yoda or Chewbacca? Can I... I would rather give to Chewbacca and take from Yoda, I think. If, if those were the... Because I, I, I want to make sure that it, we're being specific here. Okay. Well, I'd rather... Is neither an option? I guess I should have asked that first. Well, yeah, of course, like, I, I could have just not answered the question, but, like, that's what we do on this channel, is we answer the hard questions that, like, other people don't want to. That's what separates us, uh, you know, the wheat from the chaff. That not being in is, is a criminal act. Die! <laughs> Four seconds. One last cheeky one-timer attempt. Just spam it! Of course it is, but you said both. Oh, yeah. I guess that's true. Too bad no reward, we tied! Top cheese, elite game, two periods. Would you get the Hitman barcode tattoo for $50,000? Nope, not a chance. Zero percent chance. A million? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'd probably consider it for a million dollars, for sure. How much for a Costco tattoo? Well... They're a publicly traded company, so they're, they're going to have to pay through, like, more than it's worth, just to be honest with you. I'll do it for 4% cash back at Costco stores for the rest of my life. We call that a super executive membership. Great save! Not a good stick throw, though. Good bump, good bump. He's free. He's sprung. Now cut across. <laughs> 
It's the thought that counts. Ooh. I really thought that was that was gonna that was gonna do it. Good stick throw. Do you see do you hear someone in the audience? Oh ho ho! I love it. It's actually an insanely great saucer pass. It followed by throwing the stick into the stands and being banned from the league for life. Ooh, 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 ooh! Oh, I had my moment too. I just wasn't quick enough on the space bar. That, that should be blocked in my world. I'm dead. That's never going in. Classic, most sane Patrick Lyon a shot of all time. Get your stick back, Walter. Huge. And now we're sprung. I mean, that's he's cherry picking a little bit. Let's set up the cycle. That's what we did first game. Let the referee do some damage. Poorly played. Never mind. Genius, genius plays. Genius plays. Good save. Got to. Oh! <laughs> this team's not messing around. Four percent cash back, but they got to scan the barcode on your head. I mean, honestly, you know what the worst part about having the Hitman tattoo would be? Would be like, like getting the tattoo, I'm sure, would be unpleasant. The worst part would be for the rest of your life, people like going up to you and going like, Hitman tattoo, nice. And you'd have to like make small talk and be like, yeah. Now, I'm not saying that that is like a $1 million. It was so free. Like, that's not $1 million worth of pain, but you're asking me to do something that I don't want to do, so you got to pay me a little more than it's worth. If, if I wanted to do it, you might not have to pay me at all. Feed him. I, you're the worst shooter of all time. Oh, this is it. Right, yeah, yeah, just straight to Patrick Line. No, no biggie. And then don't even pick up, though, just overskate the puck. Good play, though, good play. We're going deep here. Don't throw your stick. Can't make it work. Set up in the zone. An attempt was made. An attempt was squandered. 48 seconds. Good, yeah, dump and chase. One of the greatest things to do when you got possession in the zone. Go, go for the cheeky dump and chase. Go for the missed stick throw. I mean, if we lose this one, it's campaign over. Oh! <laughs> what on earth was that? Sprung. One timer. Okay. Little tight angle on the one. That's not a tight angle, though. Stay on him. Just feed feed some pucks at the net, dude. dude. Give me overtime. At least give me overtime. At least don't give me no reward. Okay. Good lord. It's a damn mess out. Oh never oh, he was so sprung. It was like he had a round thing in his face and an, an itty bitty waist. Okay, you can't knock him off the puck when he's in Gretzky's office. Set up on the point, feed it down low. Bo Horvat crashing the net. I swear to you, I aimed at top corner. If, that, if, if I was there, it wouldn't have gone down like that. Oh! <laughs> Get a clue, man. Oh, you missed the check, too. Okay, thank God, thank God. Oh, they're taking it all the way up. B 
beautiful. Okay, Gretzky's office. One minute left in overtime. My horny ass could not survive a shootout in this game. We're not catching him. Only hope was the, the goaltender. Oh, get, feed him. Do something. They did something. 40 seconds. Plenty of time. Mash the space bar near the net. You never know. You might get a greasy rebound. Cut down the angle. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. 29 seconds. I mean, this is like the most boring game of hockey that's ever been played. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. Oh, the dude, the stick caught him on the rebound. Serenity now. Serenity now. It was Willie Bree. I got to run it back, man. It's an embarrassment. Sub in Julie Gaffney. Wait, are you talking about Julie the Cat Gaffney? Only shot we got is Kelly Jelly. Thank God. She even has better speed stats this time. Kelly Jelly. Bribery. This is the perfect start. This is like having Brimstone and Mom's Knife. And you know what? This time we're going to play fewer games. We have to start on the, the Spartans, obviously. Isaac mentioned. We got a very speed focused team here. Take it up the gut. They can beat you both ways. My, my advice to you as, as the coach of the squad is pass it to Kelly. Ooh! And if you can't pass it to Kelly, wait till she's open and pass it to Kelly. It's rewind time. I mean, the possession ball is... Oh, it's in! <laughs> Thank you, referee. And Jerry's in the middle trying to be the referee. Hey, see the stripper with the implants. She likes to lap dance and date the boyfriend of her mother. And here comes... Jerry's next guest, and it's a slug fest. Is this right? It's been a, it's been a while. Okay, great, great. I, I, I can't be mad that you tried to pass it to Kelly. Even though you forced the pass, you forced the pass to the right player. It's over. You can't stop Kelly in this situation. Only she can stop herself. Speed boost, kind of insane for defense, too. Never mind. <laughs> there you go. Get in there. Okay, where's where's Kelly? It's free? It's not free. One minute left. Do, do not put me behind the tree. And do not cost me my first upgrade. I need I need this upgrade, man. I need I need this upgrade. Don't bet against Kelly. Oh, that was me. It was, uh, I'm the problem. User error. It's true. That one was in. That one was kind of her fault. Ooh, get in there. <laughs> Okay, maybe don't come to a dead stop when you're playing defense. You gotta keep a little bit of momentum. You got one last chance. Feed Kelly. Oh, <laughs> oh it's like we're going to overtime. Okay, sorry. I, I took my hands off the keyboard. Like Alexander Ovechkin back checking at the start of his career. She's sprung. She's not sprung. 
She's still not sprung. Luckily, they can't hit the net. Skate! Skate! Just waiting for anybody. Hey, hey Kelly! Kelly! She can't... She, don't knock her off the puck! She's my sweet girl! <laughs> I can't believe it! Carlos Chicos! That's all set up by Kelly in Gretzky's office, for sure. All right, we're alive. Man, we gotta focus, you gotta beat the referees. You ever played hockey yourself? I, I think I told the story last time we played um, tape to tape. I've done a lot of skating in my life. I can skate pretty well. I can stop, I can skate backwards. Let's try a rebound magnet and we'll put it on someone who's not shooting that much but is always at the front of the net. Maybe, maybe Kelly Jelly, actually, that's perfect. Um, but then I, I never really played hockey uh, at all. It could be 10 speed to everybody. When I was like eight, maybe, my dad sent me to hockey school on spring break. Not a serious hockey school, just like a beginner hockey school. I was too shy to take off my track pants to put on my hockey gear in the, uh, in the locker room. So I uh, just put all my hockey gear on top of my street clothes and I got so sweaty that I got a fungal infection on my scrotum. And that, and that was the end of my hockey career. <laughs> Do you still have it? No, they gave me like a, like a topical cream, some kind of antifungal. Well, it's a heck of a goal. Look at this quick little spinorama. Ooh. <laughs> Holy cow, fast face off drop. Wow, wow. I got to remember. Feed it. Oh! It's over. It's uh, it's great to shoot without Kelly because she always gets the greasy rebound due to her newfound ability as well. But when you get a, an angle like this, I mean, you got to take it. Other team has Spencer Martin in net, unfortunately for them. Oh, if you could get passes, can't be intercepted. Why did I put passes, can't be intercepted on my defenseman? I should have put it on, like, one of my wingers to set up the easiest one-timers of all time. That's, I, I, I too, too much speed. I didn't know how to hit the brakes. Gravy! Oh. His name is Gravy, okay? I'm not just, it's not just a thing that I say. Look at the back checking. She doesn't need the back check. She's like an offensive engine of our entire team. She's out here doing it anyway. And look at that. To the victor go the spoils. <laughs> oh, we had him diving. We're in control of this one. Sander. That was just a shot. That wasn't even anything special. It was just a shot. They're all in a tizzy. I didn't even do anything. Goalie's a little tilted. He does look like Jacob Markstrom getting a, an overtime goal scored on him. I mean, what do you want from me? Dude, you gotta, you gotta make a good faith effort to stop the puck, okay? Ooh, he bit. I, mean, I think that's the end of the game. That's the, that's the mercy rule, right? 4-0 in the first period? Please stop saying, are you playing 
For the, are you playing against the Canucks? <laughs> Hold your slap shot to unleash its full potential. Okay. That one I will give a chance to. Let's go for some camping. Ford and Matthew will have 90 in shot accuracy, 10 in everything else. You know what? Why not? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, accept. E equip the sword and armor on Angus? I accept. I've accepted. Okay, we're back. Note to self, never check your team name. Or no, never check your teammates, I should say. It's a demo, I'm not sweating it. You got to hear Don't You Forget About Me four times last night? You still lost by two? Well, I didn't get to hear anything because uh, I didn't watch the game at all. I did the dishes. I, I watched a uh, little Physical 100. I set three days worth of Twitch VODs as YouTube videos, including making the thumbnails. I did some accounting stuff. Uh, just like a better use of my time. What, what, what am I doing? Bad play. Where's Kelly? Bro, where's Kelly? Oh, it's over. Great set. Ooh, did you see? Because rebounds always go towards Kelly. She's got that magnet. She's got that... I was going to say... Gorilla grip stick tape. But then I thought better of it. And then I said, you know what? I can still make this joke. I just have to say I was gonna say, and then I can do as I please. She got that dog in her. Wait, I, okay, so who, which one of my teammates? It's my right defenseman that I gave lightning, Willie, that I gave lightning slap shots to. Unfortunately, my team is like never in their set positions, so it's kind of hard to remember who's who. She's in. But the, it was going to go in, but it magnetized to her own stick. In my opinion. That's no shot. Matt's Sundin? I was, I, dude, he didn't even make an effort to get close to the post. Stop mixing up your tempo. <laughs> I'm making like horrendous passes. Good hit though. Good hit. Slow him down. Okay. Now dash it out. You can dash it out again. It's over. Turns out it's not over. Feed it. Left defense. Right defense. I don't know if that was a fully charged slap shot because I didn't see any laser beams. Oh! Good, good bump, good bump. Not bad bumps. We gave Willie a free shot. It's all right, we got one more period. One more period. <clears throat> I can't go down before even losing to the referees. Like... If you were in charge of the NHL, what rule would you change? I feel like, um, I think this is kind of like a gimme. I think this is going to be popular. Horrendous pass. Um, I think they should, and by should, I mean could, <laughs> get rid of the offside challenge. Because it's so annoying. Even when it happens to, like, the, uh, the opposing... Okay, 1-8 to eight playoff seating is actually the gimme. Go back to the old 1-8 to eight style playoff seating. I'm in trouble. But, like, the offside challenge is so frustrating. Like, a team enters the zone. They're offside by, like, a, an inch at most. They have possession in the offensive zone for 
two minutes and then they score at the end of the two minutes and then the whole play gets reviewed and they're like oh actually like he entered a millimeter before he was supposed to so that whole play that you just watched like didn't actually matter at all I understand that it's more in keeping with like the rules of the game it's like if something's offside it should not count as a goal but it it makes the experience of watching a game worse when it comes up I think it's different like it's not so bad when they're offside, they score a goal. You knew that was going in. And that's 90 shot accuracy right there. When they score a goal within like three seconds of entering the offensive zone, you're like, okay, that was offside. But when they're on, you know, when it's like a minute later, you're like, why the hell were we even watching it? I need this, I need this. I need to not make the worst passes of all time. It's over. It's over. It's not over. It's not over. It's not. She's got it. Yeah! Oh! That was all Kelly. The double spinorama, the beautiful one timer. What up now, Swedes? Woo! Classic Canadian esports clip. Oh, okay. Apparently, you can be hit out of that. I did not know that. You ever considered, though, that you can't hit what you can't see? That's bad. She's free. Oh! Go ahead, break him. That's my puck, Willie. That's my puck, Willie. I passed it right to him. I passed it right to him. Look, I, I have it, and then I say, you know what? Just feed it to that guy right there. Nine seconds. That's not ideal. Best player being knocked over, also not ideal. Willie destroys you. I, I gotta be honest. I got one more in me. <laughs> I thought we were gonna cruise, man. I got to beat the refs. Maybe it's time. The redemption of Willie. Definitely bribery. Did you see the doctor about your thumb? I did, but I don't want to, like, make my whole brand going off on the medical industry. So I saw the doctor about my thumb. He, he said, uh, what brings you to the clinic today? I said, I, I smashed my thumb in the back door two months ago, and now the bottom half of my nail has fallen off, and half of the top half that's still attached is dead. And I don't know if this is just, like, I, I my pet theory is insane. So I, it might not be true but I was thinking about what he said right after that like after I left the clinic because what he said right after that was so what do you want out of this appointment which seemed to me to be an insane question for the doctor to ask a patient because the reason I went to him was to like for you to tell me basically what the best like do I need to do anything but I think that actually maybe what he thought is that I was using this um, injury as like, uh, hey, can you give me like some Percocet or something like that, which was not the case. Then I said, um, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but I guess maybe a referral to a dermatologist. And he said, okay, I can do that, but it might be six months till they call you. And I said, okay. And then he's like, okay, is there any dermatologist you want to go see in particular? And I said, no. But in my head, I was like, 
If I knew a dermatologist, my ass wouldn't be here right now. Please. Bro, it's it's free. Oh, it's free! It's free! Um, so he said, okay, someone will probably call you in the next six months, but in all likelihood, your thumbnail will like have grown back by then. And I said, okay, thank you for your time. But what I was thinking in my head was, I guess I'll just go fuck myself then. I would describe it as not uh, a fantastic experience at the at the at the doctor's office. It wasn't my family doctor, to be fair. My family doctor. Next time I go in there, I'm I'm trying to save it for something serious because I know that she's gonna be like doting on me. Because after the Salmonella Campylobacter stuff, she, she was like, "You really should have just lied to the front desk and told us that you were like gonna die." It's like, oh, I forgot about that part of the medical industry. The part where instead of being truthful about your symptoms, you exaggerate them as much as possible because it's the only way to get some, you know, medical care. Hey, can you, can you give me the puck? Okay. I, I can't score a goal. This team's got no offense. Willie, Willie. Well, I... Listen, someone said you, he gave you what you asked for. Why are you upset? Because I'm not a doctor. Like, I feel like it's kind of fucked up for a doctor to be like, what do you want out of this appointment? What, what is he, does he want me to answer condescendingly? I want you to use your 27 years of uh, education to tell me what, the, like, what I should do because I'm just an idiot in the first place. Like, I'm, I'm the person who smashed my thumb into the back door. So what I want you to do is... You know, because you're going to build the province like $200 for this 15 second long appointment. I want you to do your job and like tell me if I should just wait for it to grow back or like. Or if I'm like being a baby for being here in the first place or like, can you just like uh, numb my thumb with some sedative and then like take the nail off? Uh, will it grow back normally? Is there any damage to like my nail bed? That's a goal. I can't, I can't score. I can't score. Let's get some cycles running here. Just, it's chaos. It's chaos. Lean into the chaos. Lean into the chaos. Did you ask any questions? Did you tell them what happened? What do you mean I ask any questions? I'm not the doctor! Excuse me, I, th I thought the doctors hated when they, uh, their patients diagnosed themselves on WebMD. I didn't know that's the way that it's supposed to be done now. Shouldn't they be asking me questions? He did ask me if there's any pain, to which I said no. But again, you know, it's just because I'm an idiot. Like, I should have just said yes. And then he would have been like, oh shit. Here's some Percocet. <laughs> Like, I'm supposed to go in there now and be like, hey, I think I've damaged my nail matrix. And then he's going to be like, you know, oh, okay. Let me fix that for you. Morpheus. Yeah, okay. You, Willie Bree, he needs, he needs some economy to get going. It's not a failed campaign. It's like Hitman style. We just get no reward. camp me. 10 to shot accuracy is actually pretty huge. It couldn't be that I'm aiming badly. I mean, the nail, like, it, the only thing about it is that it looks gross. So it's not that big of a deal. Show us? No, I showed it like the last Friday and people said, I'm going to throw up, put it away. I'm starting to think that doctors are a scam. Now just hear me out here <laughs> before, you, before you, you cancel me, okay? My team. My brother-in-law is a doctor. 
I had a bandage on my thumb when I was there over the holidays. Um, my sister-in-law said, you should have uh, my husband take a look at it. And I said, no, that's okay. And she said, it's okay, he's a medical doctor. And I said, I know. So I showed him the thumb. He looked at it and he said, yeah, I would just keep an eye on it. Which I understand that that's like, maybe in a lot of circumstances, that's like the right prognosis. But like, I also didn't need him to, to tell me that. It's like, a, that's I, it, business as usual, right? Like, that's how I was already setting it up. As that was already my modus operandi. And then I, I went to this other doctor, and he was basically like, why are you wasting my time here? I thought we scored a goal. I, I thought that the, we dreamed the impossible dream. That's a goal. Willie cannot score. It's, it's, not, it's not in his... It, well, you know what? He probably just signed a big contract. He's getting a little lazy. That's in the net. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bump him, bump him, bump him. And, like, I have been waiting and seeing, but it is not really, like, healing on its own. Like, the first wait and see, I still had my entire nail. That's in. Ooh. And now, like, half of it has fallen off, and the other half is still attached. It's like I waited, and I saw half of the nail fall off. And they're like, yeah, just wait and see. I don't think, like, my thumb's gonna fall off. But could you, I don't know, like, is there... <laughs> is there a thumb doctor? Did you tell that part to the doctor? Bro, I showed him my nail! I said half of it fell off, and he said, let me see. Oop, that's in. And then he said, what do you want me to do about it? It's madness out here. I might be, I, I go see a plastic surgeon. I, 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 I could honestly, I'm getting that little like, Ooh, visa uh, wrinkle in my forehead, like the kind of line on my forehead you could swipe a credit card through. Maybe they could give me a new thumbnail. I don't care if it's silicone or if it's like saline. Either one's fine. And, uh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Good save. While I'm at it, give me a little Botox. And you know what? I might just have my nose done while I'm in there, too. Saved. Maybe get a Brazilian butt lift. Okay, Willie should not be taking all the shots. Willie should be camping at the net looking for a rebound. Great hit. <laughs> good save, good save, good save. Cover that puck. I'm on Team Doctor too. I just feel like I've gotten substandard care lately. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very pro my internist, who I still believe in some ways might have actually saved my life, or at least contributed to a higher quality of life for me when I had the, the foodborne illness. She's a hero as far as I'm concerned. I'll never forget her, although I don't remember her name. <laughs> But to be fair, I only saw her for like, you know, 10 minutes and she was like, whoa, this isn't good. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. That's what I've been saying. She did not say, let's keep an eye on it, thankfully. She was like, we're going to keep an eye on it. And I was, I wanted to cry. I was like, that's all I've ever wanted. We almost had a goalie goal. We almost had a goalie assist, which is also somewhat rare, though not even close to as rare as a Willie Bree goal. He's done it. Willie Bree, Willie score. 
so true. Just hope we... They, they could still score two goals once you factor in injury time. That's a soccer joke. You probably knew that. Okay, Willy heavily onside. Don't even bother challenging. 15 seconds. It's over. It's not over. Gravy. Never should have given him a chance. Just... What? You tripped him just so you could get the, the primary assist? I respect it. I respect it. That's, that's cheesy gameplay. Yeah, I don't know. I was just... I felt kind of condescended to. I don't necessarily expect doctors to have great bedside manner in all circumstances because they spent those clutch, you know, years when they should have been developing empathy for their fellow man, um, you know, being forced to study 16 hours a day. Let me, let me give... Passes give a speed boost. And put this on... a defender. Oh, it's shot, you're right, it's shot power. Dude, then we should put it on McShaggy or Bree. You're right, it is not speed boost. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. Let me think. We should put it on McShaggy. Bree seems to be shooting the most. I'll take a bouncy puck. I'm mostly just being condescending because I felt like I was condescended to. But a doctor looking you in the face and saying, what do you want me to do about it? Or like, <laughs> he, he didn't say that. He said, what's your goal from this appointment today? I understand that maybe like, you know, two times a day he gets people that are misrepresenting injuries in order to try to get narcotics or something like that. But like, my ass is, I'm just a guy. That's a normal question. Why don't you tell me what I should be getting out of this? If, if I came in and was like, oh, I've been feeling like really tired and weak lately. And he's like, what do you want to get out of this appointment? I'd be like, I don't know. Can you run like some diagnostics or something? Like, am I... Am I your professor? Like, shouldn't you know what I want to get out of this appointment? I want to know what's wrong with me. I want to raise my, my Valorant KDR so I can make it up to Gold League. I want a toilet made of solid gold, but some things just aren't in the cards, baby. Okay, and then back to Willy because he gets a shot power bonus. Huge. Huge. Okay, set him up. Knock him down. You take what you get on that one. Willie, go! Willie, wait, wait, you're skating backwards! You haven't even caught up to the man yet and you're skating backwards? What's wrong with you? Surprised. Surprised it didn't go in. Well, okay, okay, you got him confused, that's for sure. You got me confused too, honestly. Okay, Willie just had the puck stripped from him. Embarrassing. Holy cow. Willie's, Willie's too good. He's going to get past him. Oh, great. You got to hand it to them. You know, this vintage Mark Edward Vlasic there. Just do something. Okay, Willie is... He's in the zone! He's in Gretzky's office! Help. I can't lose to Willie when I have Willie. Because that means it's me. That means I'm the problem. Is Gretzky a doctor? Honestly, if Gretzky was a doctor... I was going to say I bet he'd pro provide a higher standard of care, but I bet he wouldn't, now that I think about it. I mean, why would he? He's the best NHL player of all time! Three, two seconds, no shot. No shot. He would check you and say, get up. Wayne Gretzky, was a, he's a skilled player. I'm not saying he couldn't throw the body now and then, but it wasn't his specialty, okay? I'm just happy to be tied, honestly. Make it. May oh, Willie, push to the outside. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, good try, good try. I'm going to give you some credit for your attempt there. And then you're sprung. 
Really? Mash it? I have no defense, and I must scream. Okay, Willie's put up a solid game here. You got to give him some credit. He's not scoring, but he's getting to the net. He's getting to the dirty areas. Temporary shot power boost. What the hell was that? Okay. We got to get ready. Handle this guy. Engage in a little bit of interference. Dude, actually, that would... If someone asked... What rule would I change in the NHL? I would make it so interference isn't a penalty anymore. For anybody that doesn't know, interference is... Uh, if somebody's not carrying the puck... You can't make contact with them, essentially, or otherwise impede them. Imagine how much fun the NHL would be if people were just lighting each other up. It wouldn't be fun for the players, but, you know, they're rich. Get some physio. Oh. And we're dominating this game. Don't, don't, at least take it to overtime. At least clog up the passing lane, dude. Okay, he's free. Oh. <laughs> overtime. I'm convinced you would love the Colosseum if you lived in ancient Rome. I mean, the thing is... When you're the winner, the Colosseum is a great place to be. My Willie's better. Ooh. I don't know. Here's my thing. I If the Colosseum came back now, I wouldn't be into it. I don't even like watching MMA because like watching a dude have no oxygen supplied to his brain for like 90 seconds until he goes like this. And then the referee's like, let's call it, let's call it, call it, call it. I know you've been on top of him for two and a half minutes, Brock Lesnar, but get off immediately. He's done, he's done. So, but if I was raised in, you know, ancient Rome, I don't know, my ass might be like bored. I might be like, oh, holy shit, it's the Coliseum this weekend. Even more shot accuracy. Is an injury worse in hockey? Worse than the Coliseum? They were feeding people to like lions and stuff. <laughs> you see Gladiator? That person got chopped in half by a chariot. There's been some bad injuries in hockey. I mean, like some people have had their throats slashed by skates. Some people have had their wrists slashed by skates. You know what would be a great sketch though is like Romans at the Colosseum um, but they're like just complaining about things that people complain about now when they go to sporting events they're like oh my god 17 obols for a, a goblet of wine this is highway robbery I know and some I got some garum as well oh can you believe I could get garum Two for one garum. Two garums for one obol back home. Here they want me to pay four obols per garum? That's crazy. Well, yeah, but somebody's got to pay Spartacus's salary. Oh, and the, the, the on-sand product isn't even any... Yeah, that should be it. The on-sand product isn't even any good this year. Like last year, they had lions. Lions. This year, birds. Two years ago, my buddy was telling me they filled the Colosseum with water and simulated the Battle of Salamis. This year, what do we get? Oh, two dudes fighting each other with spears. Okay. I mean, sure, like they did their best, but at the same time, it was no Battle of Salamis. Oh, no. It could work. Look, this is you come up with the concept, and then that's the, the writers' room does the hard work. Took a chance, huh? Mm. 
And they're like, I'm never coming to the Coliseum again. Catch him next year. Holy shit, I'm so excited. Coliseum season starts. Oh! Coliseum season starts in two weeks. What? For what? On what grounds? That was a clean goal. And the face-offs in my zone? What a scam, dude. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, well, you know what? We just gotta be that much better. We're not just playing against the other team, we're playing against the refs, too. The same way that literally everybody in the NHL thinks that their team is uh, uniquely preyed upon by the referees. Must be nice to be an Arizona Coyotes fan and Gary Bettman is constantly issuing live memos saying, please give the Tampa Bay Lightning two extra penalties this period. What kind of uh, hockey watcher are you? If you're a hockey watcher, I'll tag myself. I am the guy who, um, every time there's a penalty, says he should be in prison. Willie's Redemption. Every time they announce uh, Tyler Myers, two minutes for high sticking, I say two minutes. Should be 25 to life. No, 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 it's a no goal. It's a no goal. It's a no goal. It's a no goal. Come on. Boo this man. Stop it. Freeze it. Freeze it. Freeze it. This one's driving me crazy, man. Okay, stop the bleeding. Good stuff. You lay the body on the line. Okay, we got two periods to go. Good call, ref. Good call. Come on. I will say, I know I've said it before, my favorite genre of, of hockey fan is the, the guys in the stands who obviously played when they were younger. And they don't care about the score of the game at all. All they do is call out when something should have been a penalty, but it was not called. That's fucking... That's obstruction? Oh, that's cross-checking for sure. Dude, that's def... Dude, that's... Ref, what are you doing? That not being in is a crime of the future. Not today. I'm sprung. Oh, William Bree. Is that not you? No, I never. I didn't play enough hockey for that. I only had three days of hockey school, then I got jock itch. Um, but I am the guy. I, I take some pride in knowing what the penalty was before it gets announced. That's that's as much bravado as I can bring. He stole my pass and my temporary shot power bonus. Like, I'll see something happen on the ice. The ref shoots up his arm, and I'm, like, tripping. And then they're like, Tyler Myers, two minutes for hooking. And I'm like, I fucking knew it. <laughs> Same shit. It's all good. I mean, they had a goal that wasn't a goal. They had a, uh, we had a goal that was counted not as a goal. It's a scam, man. I went to a Carolina game and saw a 10 minute penalty with no man advantage. See, the thing is, there's a 10 minute misconduct. It's different from a 10 minute penalty for reasons that someone will eventually explain to me. Willie kept us in it! Great deke, Willie. Look at his saucer pass, too. Ooh. 
It's only period two, right? Yeah, because I'm going down. I'm shooting lower. Great hit. Keep him busy. Feed him shit and keep him in the dark. Great save. We're going to need some of those if we're going to make this work. Spring him. Send him. Horrible play on my part. 38 seconds. Let's have some strong defense. If we can go into the... If we can go into the next period only being down by one, that would be acceptable to me. You've hit my own player. But Willie's Willie's free. Stay on him, stay on. <laughs> I'm in! I'm not in, but Willie's in. Good try, good try. I tried to tuck it short side. Freeze. Ooh, he's he's sprung. He sprung Willie! <laughs> embarrassingly invested right now sorry four seconds they're in their zone oh what a two line pass <clears throat> out shooting them 15 to 9 favorite retro jersey um, there's a lot. Like, I feel like for a while, it was easy to be, like, you know, super into the Canucks black skate jersey. But they kind of, they brought it back now. It's not a, a secret anymore. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. <laughs> um, I, re I do like everybody else. I like the, the Anaheim Ducks, like Mighty Ducks style jerseys from the 90s. The Coyotes Kachina, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, is 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 beautiful. This is Willie's. It's Willie's, it's Willie's. I do I love the 90s Panthers jerseys too, for sure. The one that and, and I'm not anti, you know, any team really in the NHL. So if you're a fan of the Los Angeles Kings, don't take this as like um, I'm uniquely like insulting your team. The team with the widest gulf between like current jersey quality and old jersey quality for maybe it's Anaheim, but I feel like LA's current logo is uninspiring. The LA purples with the crown is awesome. And admittedly, like I'm going to have a bias because this is when I started watching hockey, but the, the black and silver LA Kings jerseys from the 90s as well. I mean, it, they got to do... They gotta, I guess they got to keep their current branding for a bit because this is the branding that they won the Stanley Cups with. So it's going to like... They're building a new nostalgia right now, but still. I like, I like the Islanders fisherman jersey. I do. Reminds me of going to McDonald's in like 1997. Who would have thought? This is not McShaggy, by the way. I don't know who it is, but. Okay. Tight game for 39 seconds. Unless, unless Willie! I thought it was in. I thought it was in. Look, they, they can't even get out of their own zone. Would anyone like to hit the puck carrier? Beautiful steal. Take him up, give it to Willie. Pass it back. I I don't believe I don't I actually don't believe it. It's a very hard thing for me to believe that that did not go into the net. It's overtime, baby. We fought with everything we had. They had one goal that shouldn't have counted. We had one goal that should have counted. And yet here we are tied up. I mean, I guess we do have a referee on our side that's hitting them, but that's only fair. Oh. Sorry, maintain possession. This cheeky little uh, point shot. Don't don't use that one too much anymore. Oh no, my defense. Great save. Plus you sent it up in the air. Killed some time so my players could get back up. 
Willie, the cheeky little Mikhaev. Oh, did you accomplish nothing on the play? Oh, but he's free. I'm not using Willie's magnetizing ability correctly. Like every time I take a shot, what happened? I take a shot with him and then like the magnetize keeps his shot out of the net. You actually got an icing call? I didn't know that was a thing that existed in this game. What am I doing? Do throw some hits. Beautiful steal. He's in. I gotta give him props for the attempt. My, <laughs> I was hoping my goalie would reach out and cover it. Ooh, 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 spring him. These are not my stars. Back to the point. We got Willie on the point. Okay, cycle, cycle. What was that? What just happened? <laughs> that was a, an insane wraparound attempt. I'm embarrassed I didn't get to do it. Oh, okay, stay on him. Just cut down his angle. I insane positional defense. Okay, and followed by the worst pass in history. Sorry, we stay on those angles. Beautiful. We got speed around the boards. It's a little give and go. A little give a little give and go. A little given is gone. It's gone. Anybody seen McShaggy lately? There he is. Oh, what happens now, man? Double OT? Or do we just lose? Double OT. <laughs> Boys are getting tired out there, eating orange slices in between the periods. Ooh. Chugging bio steel. Okay, take it to Gretzky's office. You're doing great. Pulling the defense out of position. Take them back to Gretzky's office. They're getting tired out there. There's no shift changes. Probably the worst shot you could take in that situation, just into a pile of bodies directly. But you know what? Great recovery. They're clogging up the front of the net, dude. Oh, it, good deflection, good deflection. We're playing chaos ball. Little chaos ball, little chaos ball. Little, little willy ball. Oh. <laughs> they're scared. Look at how they're playing defense and tell me they're not scared. Number three backwards. What was the pass? What have you done? It's a two-on-one. And yet, we persevere. Willie's not open. He's, he's open. He's not open. He's not open. Gretzky's office. Skate backwards. Get killed. I really got to hand it to my team. They're, they're, they're playing above their weight class right now. Little give and go and go and go and go. And we had it on his stick. He had the win on his stick. That's, he got caught looking. Good bump. Good. Oh, he's in. Okay. He beat the goalie but didn't beat physics. Beautiful. Okay. Just skate him in. There's no offsides. That's perfect. That's fine. He's got to cover it. He's out of the trapezoid. That's a delay of game penalty if I've ever seen one. I don't even know why I'm trying to win the faceoff at this point. And we're sprung. We got a three on two. We passed it to nobody. That's a pass to ourselves. I'll keep passing on my own by Robin. Bad possession ball. Defense is pinching for no reason. Come back, come back. Shadow him. Who sprung? Nobody sprung. 
<laughs> Triple OT? I mean, this is a, a postseason classic at this point. The Willy is well known. Willy has some of the best conditioning in the league. So the longer a game goes on, honestly, like the more it benefits him. That's not fair. You shouldn't be able to use your face to block a shot. Number three has been on point all game. That's right. You just got to you, you take the, the shooter. You let them take the, the breakaway on the goalie. Okay, he's in. Point blank slap shot. What was I thinking? He's a skill player. It's not a power forward. In, dude, my defense is insane now. Do something. That's something. That's less, less good. They're a mess. They're not a mess. They're in. They're not in. They're a mess. Willie, do it. Do it. Do it. Stay on the outside. Skill plays. I thought I was trying to go backhand. Let's try to do a little forehand, backhand, Charlie Conway. McShaggy, no, Willie, Willie, to you, and back to Willie. Oh, why wouldn't you move towards the net, you idiot? <laughs> Huge face-off win. Okay. Little cheeky one. Referees keeping the defense busy. I appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> Angus. No, 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 no. Don't skate backwards here. Never mind. Amazing poke check. I'm not going to tell the pros how to live their lives. And this game tightened up, man. That's offside. I was puck chasing. Got a little lucky. <laughs> It's, it, it's the thing is like, you know, at first you think this overtime, it, it should be over in like 20 seconds. The longer it goes without a goal, the more likely it is to go without a goal forever because they're getting so tired. I am hoping they just win it into their own net at some point. Oh! It happened. Look at this. This bat out of the air. Please in slow-mo. He did it. Also, I don't know if he was playing defense. My defensemen were doing incredible work. I can't believe it. We, we won the hard campaign. <laughs> we won the demo of the hard campaign and unlocked Cam Amber, also known as Patrick Laine. Choose an artifact. I'll boost my team in a second, but then they're going to be like, <gasps> Kingsland? No, they tease you. They tease you, right? I knew it. I knew it. From now on, the game's going to be on hard mode. It was already on hard mode, man. It was already on hard mode. All right, let me slash marker this. It's tape to tape. I'm going to go to the bathroom. We'll come back and play some Hitman. See you in like two minutes.
I'm not pooping, okay? I was eating some Costco peanut butter pretzel nuggets. After I pooped. I'm from the future. <laughs> Sorry. I watched it again, probably like 10 times again last night. We have something called computers. Inside is something called electricity. I'm from the future. I'm not your dad. I knew your dad. I'm from the future. No one else uses the Costco executive member tab. Well, it's a pretty exclusive club. I mean, it's 60 bucks for the Gold Star membership. It's another 60 on top for the executive membership. So especially, I mean, with the current economic climate, it's not something everybody can fit into their budget. I don't do it for the 2% cash back. I do it for the hard-hitting investigative journalism that comes in the bi-monthly Costco Connect magazine. Yeah, it costs money. If you think you're going to blow the doors off Costco and be like, wait a minute, why do pe people pay to shop at a grocery store? You don't even know, man. You don't even know. You go edit stream info. Hitman. World of Assassination. The Super Bowl of Hitman campaigns. <laughs> I'm insane at titling my streams. Slash marker. Hitman. Why do they check your receipt when you leave Costco? You and I both know they're not actually going through the list like in an itemized fashion. They do? No, they look at your card, they look at the receipt, they take the Sharpie and go... Wah. I think it's security theater. For deterrence? I can see that. They're looking for big ticket items? Are you saying, are you saying that it's safe to steal from Costco as long as you only steal um, food? Like as long as you, and then what you do, you take all the food out and then you sell it uh, at like a pawn shop and then you take that money and you go buy a flat screen. Oh, sorry. You said expensive items. I meant uh, a dozen eggs. <laughs> oh, man. Uh. Well, like, I guess I'm also wondering, how do you steal from Costco? Not, like, instructively, but, like, like I don't want to know for me to engage in the theft. I want to know, because, like, you give them your cart, they load the cart onto the conveyor belt, then they scan all the stuff, and then they put the cart at the end, and they bag up all the stuff, or they put all the stuff in your cart. I guess you could just shove like a couple of ribeyes in your hoodie or something. Oh, they do have a self checkout now. That is true. Okay. We should do. We're going to do Sapienza as our boss fight. We should honestly, let's jump into the, out of the frying pan into the fryer. I'm going to try Mumbai. Oh, wait, no, you're right. We were going to do Mendoza. 
Did I just leave Mendoza? Either way, I think we want to we want to do Mumbai first because it's going to be rough. Epic sniper kill. I don't think Mumbai is much of a sniper map for me. Unsilenced epic pistol kill. These like seem like things that could ruin my campaign. And we already have a decent amount of money. Plus, we're about to win a lot more. Um, are lock picks one time use? This is the first time I've ever taken a lock pick. You can use them multiple times? Didn't I also get. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Where's my where's my tranquilizer gun? Scammed? We had a tranquilizer gun that we got from the reward crate at the end yesterday. Where is Oh, it's with my pistols. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Sorry. It's over here. It's a sedative. It would be so much better if it was a nemetic, but that's still solid. I, I mean, it's better than solid. It's it's amazing. Now, Sometimes things pop off on Mumbai. Let me get a covert. And you keep that one even if you fail the campaign if you don't bring it with you. Ah, okay. Over gear capacity. Okay, well we'll dump this banana then. I'm a scalpel man. I guess that is great that it's not a uh it's not a freelancer tool. So you could just leave it in your in your box if you had a spare. I don't really care that much about any of these. Give me give me unsilenced pistol kill and just ignore it. And then go check the stock market real quick. S&P 500 is down like 30 basis points today. That's the time to buy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> What's up with the Super Bowl title meta? So for anyone watching on YouTube right now, they're probably saying something like, what Super Bowl title meta? Well, I called the stream today the Super Bowl of Hitman campaigns. It's really just the same gameplay as normal, but it, it, doesn't it make you feel like a little bit more pogged up? Yes, it does. See? The human brain is easy to trick. Not a single person saying no. Who's playing during the halftime break? I'll probably do an impression of, like, um, Maxwell, somebody's watching me, because that was on part of my Peloton ride today. First, I did a 90, mi well, 90 minutes of Peloton today. First 30 minutes, Emma Lovewell, low impact. She ran back the Garden State soundtrack. Welcome. Shit would have made me cry when I was like 17 years old. I was listening to it while I was riding the bike. I was like, this is Zach Braff. This is fucking dog shit, man. It's fucking shit. What are you, do what are you doing on your sound? Listen, I'm not going to insult the shins. Except I would say, for me personally, I'm less into O Inverted World and way more into... Um, Shoots too narrow. I'm a shoots too narrow guy. And I refuse to apologize for it. What about um, whichever one had phantom limb? No, I stopped, I stopped before that. But then the frou-frou, the, the song from the trailer. Excuse me, too busy writing your tragedy. You miss out the bubble wrap. You know what I'm talking about, frou-frou? That's the worst Fru Fru song. I would say that Fru Fru lame shit. I ain't with it. I take shots at your fitted grata ta. Is how I. That's how I feel about that song. Okay, I I obviously have to get in there. That means we have to become a guard. I can do that. I've done that before. Done that before. I don't know. I need the money, but... She had night call on that ride too. Yo, we got a we got a fellow uh, pillow head here, keeping me honest. I would like to get a guard's uniform, please. Ooh, don't mind if I do. How many shots do we get in this? 
Still only two. I was hoping it was 999. Okay, be smart. And if you're being smart, the first thing you do here is you throw a scalpel. Then you detach, pick up your scalpel. They do want us to poison a guard. I'll poison the other one. I have no idea. God, nothing. <laughs> he doesn't know. Dude, he doesn't know. Okay, 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 okay. Then, I am you. Nobody's ever discovering this body. This goes on my back. Reload me. There's a thousand man coin in my pocket. And you know what? I'll just drag you behind the shipping crate, just in case. Okay, now we still have not accomplished anything, but... Kill only targets. Remember, it's like, man coin... We're so close to the end of the campaign. That I feel like man coin is less important than just beating the campaign if we can do it. I guess we could have just walked in the other side, but I didn't know that, okay? It would be nice to keep the man coin reserves high, but if the man coin reserves get lowered a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Lockpick kind of crazy, huh? I mean, we could... We could just go through the door, I suppose. We're welcome here. Oh, it's an illegal action right in front of the camera. Old me, 1,000% uh, loses right there. But I'm not old me. I am new me. Am I trespassing? Yes, I am. In that case, goodbye. Suppose we could have taken his outfit with the generator. I'm I'm always scared though when I'm in the uh, when I'm in the bushes. Because if you ever take anything out, they like uh, anything illegal. At least they they go off on you, man. What kind of guard are you? A golden guard. Okay, I'm thinking it's a little cautious. I'm thinking we gotta crack you. I've been in, I mean, they, they're hunting me. I'm running. Mistakes were made. He lost sight of me. They got nothing. They got something. Run faster. Keep going, keep going. You're okay, you're okay. <laughs> We're gonna change outfits. We're gonna get safe. We're gonna change outfits. I was trespassing, sorry. <laughs> I'm not your father. I knew your father. I'm from the future. You guys ever hear of, I don't know, doors? You ever hear of having doors on both sides of these buildings? Just one side? You ever hear of walls? Okay. We don't panic. You literally don't have a costume. You're just dressed as some guy. Oh, hello, Steve Zizu. Okay, just give it a second. Hey, I'm gonna teach you a Don't shoot me. Knock him out. It's not a great start so far. I'm gonna take your costume. 
Now our costume's gonna be compromised when that guy wakes up, but it's not compromised yet. Okay, we gotta <laughs> we gotta get a clean outfit. Clean outfit, clean outfit. I would say I've made negative progress so far. But am I... Oh, if you'll excuse me. I'm in. And our new outfit is... Metal Worker. Why didn't you just turn on the generator? Well, I was scared. Sometimes when you're in the grass, it's a little iffy. Like, I think he doesn't see me, and then he goes like, Hey, what are you doing here, asshole? And I'm like, I'm literally just, like, smelling roses. This outfit is is genuinely worse. Oh, it's because of the gun. Thank you. Thank you. Saved. Saved. Take a banana. You can set up some good kills with a banana. You can set up some clean kills. Okay, that's probably... Oh, one of them's in the skyscraper. That That could be our last one. Two of them in that apartment building where it's easy to, to handle them. That would be a dream come true. Headshot kills only. Which means we don't have to kill everybody with a headshot. But every gunshot we shoot at a target must kill them in the head. Probably the clumsiest way you could possibly explain that. But And we're back. We're back. See, that, that old me... Would never have recovered from that. That that would have just been the end of the campaign right there. New me, we get one more crack at it. We go again. I got one more in me. He's not really looking. I can't be trusted with a lockpick, man. <laughs> Is there an outfit? There is an outfit. Camera? Trespassing? How could I be trespassing? The outfit was in here. Where the hell is the camera? He's blind? It's a glitch. It's on the second floor. Okay. Glitch me? Well, this guy would, this would not be trespassing. Bro, where's the... <laughs> what are you doing here? Some of my targets are just through this door. Oh, there's two of you. Spicy room. Maybe there's a distraction. I need to. S Ooh, <laughs> old me would not have done that. Hey. Old me would have just tried to throw two soda cans at their head as fast as I could. And then, wait for him to turn it off. And we non-lethally throw a Kirkland signature iron at the back of his brainstem. At the base where his skull meets his neck. Dump his body in the laundry. Take his outfit. Now I can go where I please. Is man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? You leaving? He is leaving. Kind of. Is there another staircase? There is another staircase. That's the camera. Okay, we can't just shoot that, but the, the camera is not going to see if I drag his body right here. We'll test. We'll walk over it ourselves. See, they do not see. They do not see.
Laundry foreman. Now that's got to be better than laundry worker. Because I can also mingle with the societal elite at Davos. Now. Now we take a look. What am I doing in here? <laughs> you can scam me, see if I care. Didn't even get spotted. Wait, li can I literally just walk over here? Are you looking at me? Not really. Um, okay. I have an idea. The body will get discovered if I do this. My idea is not good. I'm going to pick up this hammer. I'm going to stand up. Is it possible to place a banana peel in such a way that he slips and falls like in between these two buildings and he's never seen again? Push is an accident, but like if you walk up, if I'm hanging out with you on the railing and somebody goes and pushes you over, I'm pulling out the VSS, okay? I know what I saw. We have to distract the, the friend first. My hammer. Hey, check that out. Fine. <laughs> Well done, 47. This oh, this is my hammer. Can I have this back, please? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Good start, man. Clean. Now, I feel worse for this guy, because this guy's probably going to be like, what the hell? That guy must hate me. So then, like, one of four? This guy is like an easy headshot from here. Ah, but we want to, we don't want to kill someone who's not a target. It's so tempting to just drop him straight down here and then take a shot at this guy who's just standing there. I need some help over here. We should wait on it a little bit. Just knock him. I don't know. It's a little, I, I think they could see me through the railing. But I'm also just, I'm, I think they would see me take the shot here, wouldn't they? I don't know. I think we should do it just because, like, it's convenient. Okay, okay. I'll do it. Is anyone there? Crime not detected. Act three, Chib! It's like, it's a super Act three, too, because your power's actually back, I am assuming. No, that's not a good idea. You're... I'm glad to hear it. It sounds insincere. It's, it's sincere. You can do it. That shot's right there. I know I said I'm not going to listen to chat, but... Here I am listening to chat again. I'm not... I don't think that the pistol is making the shot that far. Like, I, I think it's not reliably making a headshot kill. Let's put it that way. I think we could find a better spot. If I could figure out where the hell he was. I don't know what I would do, by the way, Chibli, if, uh, if I had no power for 
what was it, like four days? I don't know if I have like the mental strength to to deal with that, quite frankly. This is a this is a an amazing opportunity right here. You'd be at the park a lot. I would be at the park nonstop. I could, I could do analog Peloton rides. I'm not gonna use do on silence. You gotta read the second part. You, I, you gotta you gotta see that it says you would need an an epic pistol in order to do it. I do not have an epic pistol. Plus, it would get me killed. Please, please use common sense. <laughs> You've spread fear within the city. Holster your gun. I don't know if anybody saw me, but I might as well just chill. <laughs> Not unsilenced. Jack, can you can you bully somebody else for me, please? It's bad optics if I do it. There's like so many things. The pistol's not epic to begin with. So we wouldn't even qualify for it. Um, it would make a lot of noise. It could jeopardize our entire campaign. Money isn't even worth that much right now because we're at the end of the campaign. There's like probably five awful reasons. The biggest one is that it wouldn't have even given us the prestige objective to begin with. But yes, you, you have my permission to go after the one guy this time. You don't lose the money if you complete a campaign? Um, then, then what does it matter? Yo, you could have won the campaign with, with 2,500 extra man coin, except you couldn't have because you didn't have an epic pistol to begin with. In theory, if you had an epic pistol, then it would have been the right thing to do, but you don't. So they were wrong, but they weren't quite, they were 100% wrong, but they weren't 500% wrong like you accused them of being. Look at yourself in the mirror. Give give your head a shake. Another one of Vanya yeah, we could definitely get an epic pistol. We could, we could get an epic on silence pistol from a supplier. It would probably cost us twenty three thousand man coin. It would immediately return ten percent of its investment. I wish you would stop talking about the maelstrom like that. All positive okay. and happy. This is our what? guy. Why? Because he's a criminal, a demon. Your pistol wasn't epic. Did I stutter? <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Can I go through here? It's the shortest distance between two lines, though. I would really like to go in here. Okay, well, joke's on you. I will go the short way. The short way. I know what I must do. We wait. We exercise patience. We use a coin. We throw it right here. He says, what the hell was that? It's me. I think I just heard something. Hold on. We get ready to crack him on the back of the head with, you know, let's mix it up. Let's go hammer this time. Take his clothes. Pick up the coin. Put it away. Skyscraper, not skyscraper. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. My guy. Dude, this is so makeable. I've almost got eyes on him. For how little I know this map, this is like a it's a potentially huge dub for me. This guy knows me. So what? I don't understand why the boss wants to work with that movie clown Rangan. I mean, I'm still allowed here, right? It's just he he doesn't like me. 
<sighs> oh my guy, dude. He's so killable. That's a gimme. Malf shirt? I think Malf would be very upset if you called this a Malf shirt. <laughs> this is more of like a Chris Daughtry American Idol 2006 sort of sort of shirt right here. Am I welcome here? This is my laundry area again? Where, where the hell am I? I don't really know where I'm going on this map. Okay, we got to get to the skyscraper. Yeah. He was literally about to shit himself when we brought him down here. <laughs> Not allowed to be there if you're here. Let me out! In real life, would you be a susser or a sus -y? Um, My personal experience, I think you saw this when you watched me play Among Us. I think you saw me, or you saw this when you watched me play Project Winter. I get sussed all the time, even when I'm not doing anything. And the worst part about it is afterwards, like they'll, they'll like eject me from the ship and they'll be like, it's definitely him. And then I get ejected from the ship and then at the end, I'm like, it wasn't me. And they're like, well, it's your fault anyway. So why it's for acting so sus? And I'm like, I'm not acting sus. I'm just asking. I'm, I'm acting the way I normally act. I, I honestly think it's the deep voice penalty. Because I have a deep voice and I, I don't like to engage in um, filibustering. People just assume that I must be the, the one who did it. A wrench. You got to work on your sussy demeanor? No, you missed the entire point. Other people need to work on actually sussing people out based on their behavior instead of their preconceived notions about someone's, you know, trustworthiness. Give me your gun, please. And then we go up the ladder. Oh, this... All we need to do is, is be able to escape. It doesn't even need to be a headshot kill. I think we're doing well. Considering how poorly the uh, the mission started, I think we've recovered nicely. I mean, this is like these are golf ball hours right here. You could oh, but then that wouldn't count as okay. I see. It would be best if we could just suss out their pattern and then hide. Well, hiding the body is going to be a little tricky. So, mo not because there's not a space to hide it, but because there's like a thousand people in this room as well. Hmm, we could... S <sighs> we could put a banana down. I don't think we have a medic poison. Holy cow, we got an inventory. I think we should put a banana peel down on his path. Oh, you, you know what? Very good point. We are literally right next to a bathroom. So we can just wait for him to be the closest to the bathroom and do our, our classic uh, Hitman bathroom motif. Can I post up? He's closest. Unholster me. Place me. Close me. Now this, you got to be a little, little touchy. Wait for it, wait for it. Not yet, not yet. Because if he opens the door, it's over for us. We go for the double tap. This is the double tap right here. 
Now keep the door closed so he doesn't see you in the mirror. You know what? It would be so much... No, because that wouldn't be a headshot. Yes. He's not coming in. He, he, he opted out. Okay. It's fine. Take our lead pipe back. Holster it. Run it. Drop it. Thing's got quite the bounce on it. It's coated in flubber. <laughs> Is the door closed? That's annoying. Not closed. Closed. Okay, it's over for you. Holy shit. Well done, 47. This will surely be a blow to the syndicate. Return to the safe house. Collect yourself. I'll be in touch. Pretty clean with it. Pretty clean with it. After the start, which was unbelievably messy, it got pretty clean with it. Ninety-five meters. Well, the smart money on this one, I think, is you just leave. I, dude, this is a new world for me. I'm actually choosing my exfil, and I don't even need to use the map. Can I show you this? Can can you can you're about to see a changed man here? We climb down. Kate, I forgot to tell chat that our baby says the long way now. Last night, Kate was like, can you say the long way? And she started saying it just like the video. The long way. And then we laughed really hard. So I think that because we laughed so hard, she was like, this is great. So then she started saying it over and over. Just turn around, dude. I'm not trespassing, but these guys know I'm not security. I just, I don't have the frame for it. She knows she struck comedy gold. You know what was not as funny is when she woke me up at uh, 11 midnight and then 2.15 in the morning just screaming. And I was like, what's wrong? And she was like, ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And I was like, you gotta stop crying so you could tell me what's wrong. And then she'd go, blah, 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 and she'd like rub her eyes. And I'm like, you're just tired. You just need to go to sleep. Ah! I should have told her it's a bad bit. I should have hit her, like, just stone face. Like the Linus tech tips. Bro, you just posted cringe. But instead, I was like, oh, my baby, what's wrong? What's wrong? Like a schmuck. Good mission. Now, the mission I am most scared about is coming up next. Chong King pre-sussed. That's got me scared. Excellent, 47. If you feel the urge to do a little interior decorating. Please tell me that nobody is in the, the medical facility. Three targets, at least it's not four. We could try an explosive kill. Remote explosives are kind of stealthy. And then we could we could honestly try to get a collateral on that. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Explosive phone goes crazy. That's more for a single target, but that's still okay. And then... Give me the... Give me the epic duck. Give me the epic explosive duck. Our inventory... Oh, but then we're not going to be able to fit a scalpel. <laughs> That's alright. As long as we're careful, we can use the duck. Okay. And then lose all your money on stocks. That's not that bad. That's just another day at the office.
Okay, we don't have the inventory space for this scalpel. Oh, yeah. so we gotta be smart on this one. The Office, so true. The cast of The Office imagined if they were a 90s sitcom by midship. The cast of Riverdale, if they were also the cast of... What if the cast of Riverdale existed in real life? We asked an AI what these Harry Potter characters would look like if they were in real life, but also they were still three-dimensional for uh, like AI-generated polygonal images for some reason. The Office is a dark fantasy movie. Okay, but listen, I do like the clips that are like, what if the cast of Seinfeld played Among Us? Or like, the last five presidents playing uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 together? I do like those ones. Maybe AI is not all bad. Three targets. You're gonna want me to be in here, okay. I understand. Don't lose focus. Joe Rogan, Jordan Peterson, Minecraft server, it very much does go hard. You're not wrong. I wish I could do a good Elon Musk impression, man. Be getting a lot of mileage out of that right now. Well, I'm gonna be smart. If I'm not a, if the door's locked, I'm probably not welcome in here, even if I do lock pick it. <laughs> I mean, there's a kill right there. I wouldn't mind promotion to inside duty. That guy kind of sounds like Elon. Sir, you've got the wrong place. You don't qualify for the home. Just because I'm wearing a $15,000 suit? Oh, dude, I love this room. <laughs> wait, wait, does this building even connect to the other building? I think it does, through the basement, maybe? Forgot about this guy. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hey, get out of my face, okay? Just turn around, please. Subdue, subdue, subdue. Oh. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta find something I could throw at him. I didn't bring a scalpel. I don't want to throw an explosive duck at him. When they enter. Am I you welcome? Are, you know what I mean. Welcome? Like they're not quite there. Hammer! It's kind of brutal when you consider what I'm about to do, but... <laughs> That's for sassing me. And this is for sussing me. Hi there. Let's get you out of the rain, shall we? I don't know. I feel like I might just throw like an explosive duck at this guy. That seems like an easy collateral. Bro, what the frick happened? Who saw... Excuse me, who saw this guy? How'd you see him? You busybody? He was looking for something to do. There you go. <laughs> Can I put this in my pocket? No, I cannot. All right. Good start, though. Good start. Good start. This is such an easy collateral if I just can do it in a non-sussy capacity. Hello there, sir. Hello to you as well. I need to pat you down if you want to proceed. Mm, that's all right. I've decided I don't want to be here, actually. I've got, like... 35 kilos of C4 in every single pocket right now. So 
so we're gonna go the short way. Well, the thing with the collateral, the collateral has to be on, um, it has to be a target and another individual. It can't just be like two randos. So I think we just line them up out here. Should find a good opportunity to place the duck down. You're not trespassing. Yeah, but I might, I might be if I walk out the door. Never mind. Hey, you guys need this wrench? Anybody using this wrench? But this is where you place the duck. Just wait it out. He's going to do a little loop. Just want to make sure nobody's going to screw this up for me. It will screw up kill only targets, but it's all right. And I'll do it again. Yeah, 2500 is better than it's better than 1000 for sure. Okay, this is your moment. Place it right here. Walk over here. Yeah, yeah. Come on over. What the heck is that? Uh oh. Well done, I honestly think we should just hide. Just give it a second. They're going to scatter. I don't want them coming down here and seeing me in the stairwell. We did get a collateral. We got a remote explosive. Perfect shooter still on the table, but we're not sweating it too much. See here? They're, they're kind of sussing a little bit. Good first kill. NL has not played any of the regular missions. Excuse me. Why are you spreading misinformation on the internet? I've beaten all three campaigns. Stand down. Keep your eyes peeled. This might not be over. Why are you laughing? It's just the truth. <laughs> and the little Hitman Roulette, but Hitman Roulette was freaking impossible. I think I should just go back with my suit now. You didn't see it? You didn't see anything. And my suit. Beautiful. Two individuals over here. Fairly close to the X fill, might I add. Because there's exfils like right over here. Are they in the secret laboratory? Okay, sorry, it's a restricted. I'm I'm sorry. I'll put down my weapon. The music is is throwing me for a loop for sure. I think they might be in the secret area, but it looks like they're like right at the start of it. So I think there's a possibility. If I could figure out how the map works. I think there's a possibility here that I could figure this one out. Probably not these guys. Bam, bam. Yeah, I feel like the orchestra's kind of pre-sussed me, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn, man. Damn. Am I welcome in this building? They shouldn't make buildings that people aren't welcome in. That's my two cents. I just need to use your bathroom. For egress. I'm in. Dang, dang. 
You're not sus of me here, huh? I think I gotta... It's, I know this one's 0118. Ooh! Squeak! Hostile area. It is. For sure, it's a hostile area. But if you're not looking, who cares? I'm gonna interact with the keypad. I'm in. Hacker voice. Okay. That's where our supplier is, too. Welcome. Please follow the gray line to security check. Now, Thank I've you. I've dumped these two security guards in this hallway one time before. I can do it again. This is too risky. You got nothing to worry about, okay? You let me handle this. Last time I remember, I two-tapped him. I don't know if that's what I want to do this time. Because it's, it's a little spooky. People don't really find the body, though. Okay, I just wanted to see what it would feel like. He's the best to ever do it. Now, we did lose kill-only targets, but you know what? We're in. You already... Oh, yeah, I lost that on my collateral. What was I thinking? What were they thinking? What were they thinking? Oh, I don't really want to be there. Which map is this? This is, um, this is Chongqing, China. It's a spooky map. It's, uh, it's got the labyrinthine structure of Mumbai and also the, the sussy facility vibes of, like, um... Is Sapienza the one with the poison lab? That I literally never see ever. Okay, I would like to go up a staircase. My man's up there. Okay, one at a time. It also has infinite violins for some reason. Stop recording me. <laughs> am I welcome in this? Who are you? Yes, I am. Listen, sir, there's no drama. Just need to check your pockets. Never mind. I will not go in here. I'll be leaving. And instead, I will be using my high security camera. Okay. You can get frisked? What do you mean I can get frisked? I have no illegal items? I have no illegal items? I'm allowed to have weapons? Go ahead, frisk me. You're security. You're allowed to have a, a remote explosive rubber duck. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's my guy right there. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I'm allowed to be in here because I am security. Just we pop him? No, we're not. We're not just gonna pop him, okay? I know what we're gonna do. I know what we're gonna do. Just gotta make sure that he's the closest person to this. <laughs> How about right here? But then he's gonna come out. 
Am I welcome out here? More or less, yeah. He's taking his time. Now call it. He's picking it up. He's picking it up. Ooh. Syndicate member eliminated. Well done, 47. This here. Man, are you to blame for this? It wasn't me. They're just they're just sus. That's no big deal. Bro, why? I was scared because there was another dude uh, that that looked like he was gonna come running and see me. It's all right. They've given up. Why are you waiting? Just go. Cause I got another person to eliminate on the mission. Controversially, I would like to kill all the targets before I escape from the mission. Am I welcome in server room? Of course. What could I interest you in? Oh, hello, sir. Thank you. Silenced AR. Katana, an epic collector's coin, legendary sawed off Bartoli. I kind of feel like this is a this is a buy nothing day situation. There's not a baguette, Chibli. There's a I don't know what they're doing to the bread in New Zealand, but you think that uh, Babe Ruth could hit 67 home runs in a season with the with the baguette? By the coin? Well, like, I'm trying to think, like, what's the good thing about the collector's coin? It means you could take a coin into any mission until you died and lost it or left it behind. But, like, what's the point of... Like, I, I could just do that with a scalpel anyway. I guess the scalpel is too gear. It stays on campaign fail. Yeah, but like if it's in your pocket when you fail the campaign, then then you you never get it back, right? Oh, scalpel's three. Oh. Coin is very loud for distractions. Scalpel's also illegal. Uh, collector's items do not stay after death. Because I saw Jay lose his collector's assault rifle. Well, okay, now that I think about it, it wasn't collector. It was um, ornamental. But I still think that's called a collector. I don't think it's worth 5,000 man coin for a coin. I just, I just, I think, honestly, I think the supplier's kind of, it's kind of ass. I don't think he's got anything on him. Nothing, nothing interesting, at least. Now this, <laughs> this seems beautiful. Do you think people would suss me <laughs> for this one? I think we should at least, like don't get impatient. Take a look in here, see if there's places you can hide the body. Well, this guy would suss me for sure. We're not going to be hiding any bodies around here because of the prevalence of security cameras. Let me see what I got in my pocket. No more explosives. Okay. Let me take a look. There must be a bathroom here. Bathroom spotted. I mean, to be honest with you, this is kind of crazy. But... I think you could just wait till the other guy's not here, shoot him in the head, and then go 
hide in this closet for like five minutes. Easy dart. Yeah, but then like, then I still got to shoot him in the head though. I kind of hate this, this glass door. I think you do it like this. Excellent work, 47. I mean, it's a little cowardly, but... You should get back to the safe house. I'll contact you later. Joker, some kind of ghost! The old shoot and scoot. We also killed the violins. This is how I do it. Well, I mean, that's honestly, this is the, I got to remember. If the game is a roguelite, then what do you do? Well, at the start of the game, you have to be a little bit more creative. At the end of the game, you use mom's knife. You walk up to the boss and you go like this. I earned the silence pistol. I earned the tranquilizer dart gun. I earned all this stuff on the campaign so far, so I should be leveraged. I shouldn't be trying to do, like, mousetrap-style kills right now. I should be trying to just, you know, efficiently get to the end of the campaign for the first time ever. Whoever keeps doing this, show yourself now. You want to play games? Okay. It is cringe for him to camp the vent like that. Get him? We could, but we don't need to. That's the important part of this. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to have his outfit, though. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> When the camera spotted me, I was like... The meme image of Mathis. Look at this. It's beautiful. Who would have thought 0118 gives us everything we need? Now, nobody suss me, please. To the tune of She Frickin' Hate Me by Puddle of Mud. She frickin' sussed me. I faked swiping card and she timed my action so she got sussed and vented away. Doesn't work? It kind of works. You did this bit three weeks ago? Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Great minds think alike. Ooh, remote controlled. I have so few of those. Nine thousand XP. Three more missions. The campaign legit never ends. We're halfway there. I mean, the missions get a lot longer, right? Like, the first, like, six missions are all one target. You just literally, you spawn in, you turn on Hitman Vision, your target's standing right next to you, you're like, and then you just hold G. Okay, so we did all of the pre-sussed. We know we have to get Hokkaido out of the way, and then it's going to be Sapienza Mendoza. Give me a second to think about this. Antique lethal syringe. It's kind of just a great piece of loot, honestly. I think that our best option is honestly silent assassin.
easy. We had a pretty bad run on the stock market lately. I'm definitely not going to worry about killing guards with a sniper rifle at this stage of my life. We're going to keep a silenced pistol. We're gonna, I, I, we don't need the lock pick, I think. Because it's all like key cards on this one. Lethal syringe. Let's drop it. We got the tranquilizer gun instead. Drop the pistol. Six of 11. Let me grab a scalpel. I know, like, it's not hard to get a Tonto on this map. The hard part is, like, at this stage of the game, being, like, prioritizing a 2,500 man coin prestige objective, it doesn't seem like the right, uh, it seems like bad target selection. Let me put it that way. I think instead you should worry about the, the campaign as much as possible. <clears throat> Let me see. We used the duck, but we still got ducks. I mean, remote explosives are just like... They're easy. Can't take a Semtex, though. I think we'll just send it. Give it a try. What I don't want to... A couple of things I don't want to see here. I definitely don't want to see... Starting in the, in the morgue. I definitely don't want to see targets in the hospital. Ideally, my three targets would be um, all in the bathroom at the same time. Welcome to Hokkaido. Okay, this is also a bit of a spooky start. Never mind. I thought I was on the. I thought I was near the helicopter. We're starting in our own room. I might just relax for a bit. No, we're starting in a lobby. Starting at a table. Dude, do you think we ate that? I mean, they left some choice stuff here. They left the Ebby. They have a knife and a fork. They, you know what? They might have ordered something that's not sushi. I'm not, they might have ordered like a hamburger or something. I'm taking a look. That looks like a chef to me. Or, or a worker. That looks like somebody pooping. I am allowed over here. Step one, scope out the targets. Are you security close to the bathroom? Your security inside of security room. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I mean, that. I think that's very doable. I was hoping I could just follow you in. Chat be like, push. I bet when he comes this way. <laughs> bet if you handled it right when he's here, you could hit him with a lethal syringe. But let's follow him. He also goes into the sauna. Am I welcome in the sauna as a non-patient? Yes, I am. We just get him alone, poke him in the back, and it's over. Comes over to the corner. Stands around for a minute. He's, he's trying to push his uh, galaxy bud into his ear, but when he pushes it, he accidentally activates the touch control that causes it to pause. Then he pushes it again to try to unpause, but that one just pushes it deeper into his ear. Then he's pushing it again, and it's unpausing, but somehow the volume has been cranked up to 90 instead of 10. He's just like me. <laughs> oh, you, you guys also own galaxy buds? That's just my bad. I'm not supposed to be here. There's, that's the end of Silent Assassin, and that's okay. I need to be a patient to go in there. Noted. Noted. I guess you're not allowed to wear a suit. You're not allowed to, like, look good on vacation. Oh, that's staff. 
Somebody in here is going to be staff. This is the guy who's naked, right? Doesn't he have an outfit like on the ground or something? This is sauna. Don't you have an outfit in here? I'll just pull the fire alarm. He has patron outfit. Patron or patron? Like when T-Pain says, I'm so gone on patron, I don't know how I'm getting home later on. That one? I thought that was me getting insanely sussed. It's just steam. <laughs> Hello. I need a staff outfit. Well, we haven't really screwed this up too much so far. Let's just chill out. Hello, uh, uh, Miss Yamazaki. I remember you. To me, it's like he walks... No, he doesn't walk this path. If he stands right here... No, you're not poking him in the back with a syringe from there. Don't be stupid. <laughs> that's, that's an idiotic play. Be smart. Step one is just get a costume. And one of these is my room. I do have a syringe, but the syringe is very slightly sussed. Is my room? Mr. Jason Portman. You didn't bring syringe? You're absolutely right. I took tranquilizer gun instead. I, I, I'm just being honest, sir. I thought this was my room. Is this not my room? It is my room. Then what the heck was he doing in my room? Getting, getting upset with me for changing into my clothes. He came into my room and was like, what are you doing in here? Oh, there's a story. There's a story here. Okay. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he, des he deserved that one, man. Don't I have coins? I thought I started with coins on me bed. You were getting undressed? Bro, I was getting undressed in my own bathroom. I hope you're enjoying your stay. That's like the place to get undressed. Well, now we can go into the hospital. I didn't know it was that easy to, to get uh, Jason Portman, honestly. Now. And to you as well. He's about to leave. Oh, I'm not welcome in here. Okay, I know what I... Listen, this is going to take a minute, and I apologize for that. But I know exactly what we must do. By the way, am I allowed to go in the sauna? I am a VIP patient. It's on the other side. Am I allowed to go out of the sauna? Nope. Okay. I mean, here's, here's how it's going to be, okay? Next time he walks in, he goes into this room... That's staff only. I'm not supposed to be there. <laughs> what? Hey God, I'm, I'm lost. It's all about finding the first seam, though. No outfits. NL, do you like Tasana? Not at all. I get um, saunas and hot tubs. I have, like, a limited tolerance. For, like, 30 seconds, I'm like, wow, this is really nice. And then after that, I get insanely sweaty. And uh, it's just not for me. I don't know if I have hyperhidrosis or something, but that's the point. No, no, no. I get I get sweatier than you do. That's what I'm gonna say. You know how they have like that Finnish sauna competition where it's like who can stay in the hottest sauna the longest? My ass would be in there for four seconds, and I would be out. Same way with the hot tub, like anytime we go to uh, like ski or snowboard, you, face, you literally body Please blocked me into the wall here. I, I get in the hot tub and I'm like, wow, this feels great. And then, <laughs> okay, okay, dude. 
Then three seconds later, I, I take my torso out of the hot tub and I sit on the edge of the hot tub. Then I go like three quarters into the hot tub and one quarter out of the hot tub. Then I go like only my feet are in the hot tub and the rest of my body's out of the hot tub. Then I go like, oh, I gotta, I'm cold. I go down to the shoulders. I go, oh, whoa, this is nice. Actually, it's a little too hot. Okay, I'm going to get up. I'm going to go half in the hot tub. Like, I just never... I need the, I need the hot tubs to be, to be colder, which I, I did. I could get down with a Korean sauna where you go into like a... Uh, you go into a hot tub, and then 30 seconds later, you go into an ice bath, and then you go into a hot tub, and then you go into an ice bath. But that's about it for me. Okay, now this is where we got to be sneaky. Chibli, what are you talking about? I never know what this guy's talking about. Hey, is that glass? Hang on, I gotta check something. It's frosted. Oh, I can't go back in. <laughs> I was gonna hide his body. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, we know somebody's gonna find it, but it's okay. We didn't leave any witnesses. Could be worse. Could have been better, but could be worse. It's not Rip Disguise. The dude who saw, who saw us walk in there is dead. Oh, you mean Rip his... Okay, I see what you're saying. I'm allowed here. In many ways. You gotta go back and see the nurse. Who the hell is the nurse? She'll take you in? Who, who the hell is she'll? You're Jason? I know, but we're not talking about Jay. Who's the nurse? Hello? Hello? Gentlemen, Mr. Portman is with me. No need to Life finds a way. Security measures. Thank you, I appreciate that. We've got a new yoga instructor here, JB. Boy, he can stretch like a rubber band. Never seen anything quite like it. If you're feeling sore and the meds aren't doing it, body you found know, you out. Go see him. You know what I was watching last night? I guess there's no way you could conceivably know what I was watching last night. I watched half of Forgetting Mar uh, Sarah Marshall. What a movie. Why? Oh, you're, you're saying why get caught for trespassing? Which half? I watched the first half. I, I plan on watching the second half again. Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I watched it because it's a good movie. But I understand yours was quite extensive. I'm just not following you. I'm, I'm going into the waiting area. Okay. Never mind. No, I'm not. Nurse, protect me. Must be good to get out a little. Stretch those legs. I do love the options available here at Gamma. But I imagine it can get tedious to lie in bed all day. If you haven't been to the gym yet, you should really go. She's still talking? That target is insanely annoying. Okay, Mr. Portman, your surgeon is in here. He should be ready for your checkup. Have a nice day. Am I allowed to just leave? Can you please move away? We I thought we were friends. Okay, I just decided that I need to go take a diarrhea dump. So if you'll excuse Hey guys, what's happening? Is everything okay? I'm here to get my briefcase surgically attached to my torso. But first I need to take a big diarrhea dump in the bathroom. First I just need to take a... <clears throat> first I just need to take a big... Seems 
like it's over. For now. First. You have to wait till they're not searching. For a big diarrhea dump? You idiot. And then... Lady? Hello? You're gonna screw this whole thing up for me, lady. Okay, this is all about patience. It's the same nurse? She should honestly get a life. I would settle for a doctor's outfit if they want to give me a doctor's outfit. <laughs> Just give me a moment here. This is going to work. What? He was sus though. Hello, guard. That's actually perfect. Run the sink? No, that's considered wasting water. Christ. Lady, get a life. Oh my god, she's so vain. Okay, I'm gonna need you guys to leave real quick. I'm gonna take his gun, if you don't mind. I'm taking a huge diarrhea dump in here. Thank you for your discretion. Now, this is the nightmare. We might as well try to get the other dude first because that one seems conceivable this one seems horrendous i wonder if i could buy you know what would actually make this hit the spot buy an explosive from this guy hide it in the briefcase in the room it's 500 remote explosive classic rubber duck for 500 what the hell is this epic melee ice axe we could use an epic melee, honestly. If you need more, you know where to find me. And where the where the heck is the other the other dude? Am I allowed to get back in here? I don't think I'm allowed to get back in here if I come out, so I gotta There's a crate there too. Oh my mistake, my mistake. Listen, the crates are usually kind of anus, but it's always worth getting. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. I mean, it's nice to have more explosives, I guess, just in case. Hey, while I'm in here with you, I'm going to do the, the right thing here. Can you please conceal a remote explosive rubber duck? That's not how that works, is it? <laughs> Anyone know how this works? <laughs> you don't have to conceal it. I guess I could just sneak in and place it and then walk out. I thought I could hide a primed duck in there and then just be like ready to go. You can? All right. Turns out I don't know what I'm talking about. A duck does work in a briefcase. 
What a country. Dan, honestly, we got rid of the casino because it created bad vibes. Who would have thought that there'd be negativity associated with gambling? It's the first time hearing about it, at least. Um, the bad vibes were because literally people were like spreading misinformation in order to make me lose my campaign to win points that don't do anything. And also, people were actively like rooting against me, which is bad vibes to begin with. This guy's easy enough. I mean, I, I think honestly. Well, so someone should go and see what the hell that was. Copy that. Is that John Oliver? Silenced firearm kill. We need one. World's most perceptive doctor. Excellent work, 47. You've spread fear within the syndicate. My briefcase. Thank you. And literally, like, once we stopped running the casino, the Hitman gameplay actually improved, like... Without exaggeration, it got at least twice as good. Now, this is the scary part. <laughs> is there a place to hide if I have to? I guess I could just run back to the bathroom. We're having less fun, though. Okay, then leave. Minty boy. Orange text, minty boy. Orange text, minty boy. I'll see you here tomorrow for some more Hitman. Hello. I mean, this, this has to be like one of the worst rooms to, to get a kill on. Like this blows. I think you gotta, th <laughs> I think you gotta throw the duck in run into the bathroom oh but there's no hiding spot in the bathroom except the stall the stall is not a genuine hiding spot am i allowed to be in here okay well like what if you threw the is there a hiding spot in this room no there's not you could throw it here they'll investigate go hide in this uh locker until they stop searching i think that's the way to play it The heck is that? Jesus. He didn't die. How is that even possible? What, 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 that sofa is not from Ikea, I'll tell you that much. They're over it? <laughs> what the hell? I detonated it. You should get out of there. Sorry. Okay, how about some shaman powder? Shaman powder isn't lethal, okay? It's concussive. <laughs> Do it anyway. Toss that down right here. What? Uh, body found, but he's not. Oh, he's knocked out. I see. Follow it up. We need to find the cause. Check everywhere. With this, walk out. Wait till they're not searching, and then go away.
Why shaman powder? Do you want me to... Listen, I'm better at the game than you at this point. I used to take this cyberbullying at, at face value. A couple of reasons. One, it doesn't have a tier to its loot. As a result, if you took it out of the mission, it wouldn't exist anyway. It would turn into vapor, okay? It's ether. Secondly, I wanted to concuss all the witnesses in the room to possibly slow down or minimize the response of the guards because there were like seven guards inside of the room. So I feel like just by... It, we, we concussed three of them, including our target. That at least minimizes the chances that we're going to get riddled with bullets on the way out of here. So that's why I threw the shaman powder in advance, okay? All I know, the kind of people who are like, why would you even use the shaman powder? They'll buy like, uh, you know, a bag of chips at the grocery store. Cashier's like, do you want your receipt? They're like, mm, yeah, I might need it someday. You never, listen, you never know. What if I open up the bag of chips and then there's no chips in there? I could at least take it back to the grocery store and be like, what the heck? There's no chips in here. Here's my proof of purchase. I don't have any proof, proof that I didn't eat the chips, but... You, you wanna buy something? I don't want to buy something. The last thing you sold me was freaking garbage, dude. It didn't work. Thanks for the grenade that didn't work. I remember, there's a path down the outside of this, right? Oh! That's why I always film myself opening the chips. True! That's why I always take a video of me holding up today's newspaper. Then I take a, a digital scale and I tear it so it's on zero. And then I zoom in on the, uh, the weight on the outside of the bag. And then I place the bag onto the teared scale. And if there's any discrepancy, I'd say this is ridiculous, Galen Weston. It's off by 10 grams. You're, I'm, I'm going to complain to the Better Business Bureau. Yeah, it's 10 grams too many. I don't want that, those, that level of unsaturated fat in my diet. What they didn't know is that in advance, I hit the bag with gamma radiation in order to vaporize two potato chips. Impressive work, 47. Thus allowing me to spread misinformation on the internet. And have you not like me when I'm angry? We go Sapienza, then we go Mendoza. There's only two left. Sniper rifle kill, headshots only, poison guard. Okay, now listen. We have, we have poison in our back pocket as is. We have a silenced pistol. I don't really want any of those at this stage of my life, to be honest. I would absolutely take a remote explosive duck, and then we can talk about the collateral kill. However, this also seems like a time to bring out all reliable. <laughs> the silenced 3x slow down time sniper rifle. Now we're one over gear capacity. Listen to me. I'm from the future. Drop your silence pistol, though that I may regret this. Gear capacity of nine. Obviously. Dan, did you know you could do this, by the way? Did you know you could do this in um in Hitman? You can gamble on the stock market. It's me buying meta shares. Oh no. Who could have possibly predicted this? You're right. I might have a two. Um, I might have a two gear capacity silence pistol. You know, you're absolutely right. I do. I don't get to rock the extendo mag, but that's okay. Only downside of this right now, no, um, no distractibles. So we gotta like. Hold control, use Hitman Vision, and like steal somebody's blueberry muffin or something. Oh, I got a briefcase. You're absolutely right. And a, we, I think it must have been on this campaign, right? That we bought the silenced uh, sniper rifle. I think we bought like 
24,000 man coin silent epic silent sniper rifle and now we're finally getting to take it for the first time ever I guess I could have taken it before but it's nice to have a map that has some like lines of sight I trust that you can find them and eliminate them okay we start on the balcony usually our suppliers right behind us then too And by usually, I mean the one time I spawned here. Now, some things you may not have to do, but you do them because they're traditions. <laughs> Every time. Ring, ring, brother. Ring, ring. It's your fault, dude, for having an apartment with such a sick view. That also has, like, an amazing sniper vantage point. Like, that's on you. It also has uh, a, a good outfit. Like, it's got everything. Desk audit. I mean, I feel bad for the poor guy, but sure, here's your desk audit. Woof. Woof, dude. Disgusting. Trying to see, didn't I thought you had like a something kitchenable out here? Now, I mean, that's that's a sniper. In fact, there's two beautiful sniping opportunities right here. I think you unpack the piece first. Is there a place to hide in here, just in case people come running? There's not. What about in here? There's not. I guess I could go hide in my apartment if, if there's a place. Dude, nobody has closets these days. What, you guys don't have phones? I mean, he's asking for it. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm looking for like a closet or like a laundry bin or something to hide in. Yeah, it's silence, but the guards are going to like scatter. Unless his body falls into the drink. Oh, baby. Oh, dude. Well done, There's one. Take a look at number two right here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Nasty habit. Smoking kills. Now, go conceal this, please. She littered. That's true. She littered. Now, I'm a kitchen assistant. A different guy now. Different individual. A sniper rifle. The only thing I'm cooking right now is a beautiful pappardelle ragu for dinner tonight. I don't have... Murder? Murder? I don't have time for murder. I gotta cook dinner, brother. Excuse me. Hold on to that briefcase, please. This is Samsonite. I cook with the pasta. I don't pay the taxes. That's how I like to get to work. Walkable cities. One. We have two over here. One's in the tower. It would be nice to just snipe them. Um, without having to do all the... The theatrics. It would be nice. You, you might be able to do it from the flower truck. But you might also be able... <laughs> I 
to do it from right. I mean, this is a bit spicy. I'm hoping my briefcase doesn't fall off the edge here. You think he's standing behind a wall? He's not! Dude, this is it's actually overpowered. Like it's unbelievably good. It is brimstone. And then I think these guys the security or do they just walk across the bridge? Because if they just walk across the bridge, it's over. But I gotta remember, like, I don't have to shoot the other dude in the head. Like, I, I could just... I could do anything to him. But I could shoot him in the head. <laughs> Let's just follow him around for a second. Duck me. I'm just not too worried about the... About the man coin at this point. If it would be easier to just finish the mission, I would, I would rather just finish the mission. But honestly, <laughs> hang on, just walk me back past this. I think this is so makeable. As long as this guy doesn't see us do it. Give me a brief second here. little worried if I stand here like I'm too much in this guy's line of sight. This spot looks pretty good, though. Just wait for it. Just wait a second. You could just knock him out. More trouble than it's worth. Just pick your shot. You wait, you wait for your moment. I think this is my moment. I don't think this is my moment. He's got other boys with him. It's not your moment. <laughs> this is certainly not your moment. You know what? Maybe we'll wander around. Find a better vantage point. Don't risk the whole campaign for this. Like, this guy is, is a, an easy kill. Unless we squander it. TwitchCon Vegas, yes or no? I mean, you know my thoughts on, on going to Vegas in general. I think that uh, I would go, but I would not go for TwitchCon. Is there an outfit in here? You know what? Hit him with something like this. Turn on, turn on the sound system. Having been to Twitch... Have you ever been to TwitchCon before? I'm not trying to knock it, especially because there might be staff watching, but it's not 100% my tempo necessarily. Let's put it that way. Plus, that's where the doubters go. I'm too old for TwitchCon. I was, I mean... <laughs> Lord, forgive me, because you're about to... You're about to make me say something I regret. I would say I'm too self-aware for TwitchCon. I've been to two TwitchCons, and, like, one of them was, like... I was like, oh, this is, like, kind of fun. I get to see some friends. The other one was, like, after... Um, IRL streaming like took over the platform and it was literally just every streamer there was just filming themselves being at TwitchCon and I was like this sucks for me like I'm it's fine for them I would rather just go on vacation though than you know spend it I let me put it this way as well I think that there's going to be a lot of uh, amazing stories that come out of TwitchCon Las Vegas and I have no interest in being a part of any of them
just collapsed. I didn't even know there was a second one here. <clears throat> just wait for this guy. Wait for this guy. Wait for this guy. I didn't know laconic was a word. Francesca. It means you're short with your words. <laughs> if I, I if I remember now. correctly. I'm not the one who calls. Dude, get I the hell out of write your text and get out of here. I can change. So did you get my message? Music to my ears. <laughs> we'll meet up in your room, okay? I'll call you as soon as Caruso lets me off the hook. And a throw a kitchen knife Patience. over here to distract this guy. Hey. Not a good idea. I've decided not to do that. Oh, come on, man. I've decided to... Whoa, wood-fired pizza oven. Can I just get a guard to come in this room? It shouldn't be this hard to get a guard outfit. Which is me saying, I know it's not this hard to get a guard outfit, I just... I'm making mistakes. Where's this camera, dude? I'm scared of the camera? It's right there! <laughs> right above my head. Okay, now it's over. It's done. It's gone. I spent it. I think the, re the only reason I would, I would go to TwitchCon Vegas is to spend time with my friends who were also going to TwitchCon Vegas. Hey, I, I found an old box of VHS tapes. I'm just done with like convention travel to begin with though. It's not necessarily like a knock on uh, on TwitchCon more than any other convention. I mean, you could see people going crazy at PAX too. Two lads will excuse me just a moment here. Hassan said he's only going if you go. Doesn't he live like a like a four hour drive away? Like that's kind of a it's a little unfair. It's a bit of an asymmetric setup, quite frankly. So it's not even in the country of which I reside. And he's willing to take that drive. <laughs> well, that's that's nice. Okay, listen. I don't think he really said that anyway. But if he said it, that would be my response. <laughs> Little bro missed. thousand man coin too hey can i have a silent sniper rifle on my back if i if i'm a guard nope bro he's like oh, hew. little bro's like oh, hew. it's so funny he's snoozing bro's sleeping on the job little bro's tired oh Somebody didn't get enough sleep last night. Late night. Oh, it, you're done. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Who told NL about Lil Bro? I don't know. Everybody, every time I do anything in a game, people go, Lil Bro thinks he's on the team. What's the latest you've stayed up recently? On purpose? Probably like 11.30. Like by accident. Like being woken up by my child. Well, like... I don't, it's hard to draw a delineation. Like what's... When does one go to bed and when does one wake up? When you wake up four times in a night or something like that. You're getting old? I'm just... I just got shit to do. People will be like, oh, now when I'm 34, I won't go to bed at... Uh, 9.30? Okay, well, I hope you find a daycare that fits your uh, millennial influencer lifestyle. 
daycare starts at 4 p.m. Oh, and don't worry if you're an hour late. That's fine. Then don't worry. We'll, we know you don't own a car, so we'll go pick up your kid from your house. Hey, hey, what's, what's the problem? He's got a problem with me? Come back. Do, 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 do. Dude, he's taking forever. You hear like a little kid scream there? I should have just dropped the duck, but you know what? That that train has sailed. Please just kill him. You just don't get it, do you, Scott? You just don't get it. Climb up the, the post. There you go. Now we're on the roof. Now I retrieve my sniper rifle. Now, ideally, I would, like, I know it's silenced. I would still like to wait until there's not five guards standing right next to him, just so that maybe we have a little bit of extra time to, to make our way out of the situation. So just wait him out. You know that he comes and stands over right here. Everybody's walking in the other direction. Double zoom. Put it on. Okay, body was found instantly. Conceal the item. You should get back to the safe house. I'll contact you later. Things are about to pop off a little bit, so just make sure you're you're where you want to be here. Get away from this scene. I'm not allowed up here. Go up one more floor. <laughs> I know this map well enough to know I'm not supposed to be a, a, a door with a hand. And then we'll escape via the flower shop. With the flower van. And now we've got one syndicate mission remaining on Mendoza. Hang on, we'll take the side stairs. I think we're actually gonna have a chance. Being recorded by a camera is bad if you're trespassing or if the camera sees you do a crime. If you just get recorded by one, it all it does is ruin Silent Assassin unless you erase the cameras. Which is only important if it's a prestige objective you care about. See, I old me would not have been able to answer that question. Old me would have been like, I don't even know what Silent Assassin is. I don't think you're allowed to ever shoot a gun. So I think here, just use your... <laughs> little bro thinks he's the hitmail wiki. Here, just use your, your noggin. This game makes me think it's really easy to kill people. Well, that's kind of like a troubling thought. Let me say that this is all under the veil of, of being a bit. It's like probably crazy easy to kill people. Like there's multiple times every day where I'm like, someone could easily just murder me right now. Someone could drive their car into me. They could decide they don't, they're looking at their phone instead of going through, you know, stopping at a red light. They could pull out a, a gun or a knife and kill me. They could, you know, just hit me over the head with something hard. We just rely on people like not doing that, which is nice. They could push me onto the SkyTrain tracks or something. These aren't intrusive thoughts. I mean, these, you know. <laughs> Hang on. 
Just real thoughts. I had no power for four days and invented a new Family Guy character. Weird guy. I could kill someone right now. You were, work you were working on that joke for four days, Chibli? Hide bodies, eliminate guards with a sniper. Eliminate guards with an SMG. Excellent. Okay, we well, I'll tell you one thing. We don't care at all about any of our prestige objectives, so just give me Silent Assassin. We're going to take... I've provided you with new intel. Whatever we can. An explosive phone is a dream come true. I would also love to take the tranquilizer gun. Just because I think that it would be nice to have. Four of eleven. I would like to take our assassin's pistol. I'm not gonna worry about the sniper. <laughs> I think, I think it's too risky. And and honestly, I, I don't. On the, I had fun with it on that last mission, but I I don't think it played to my strengths. Obviously, we're gonna go gamble on some stocks. Can you imagine though if we? Um, if we s complete this campaign, and then we start with that silent sniper on the next campaign, pss, 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 pss. we could do probably like seven missions in 15 seconds. No, I'm not taking the sniper, because you know what's going to happen with the sniper? I am going to shoot. I'm going to get impatient. I'm going to shoot the wrong suspect in the head. The Thank body's going to get found, and then all the other targets are going to scatter. And I'm going to have to do some decisions that I don't want to do. Most important thing here. We got to suss out and make sure we got the right suspect. If we don't have the right suspect, it's okay to take a risk on killing them as long as nobody sees it. Or hope they all get stuck on a roof. Also true. Welcome to Benito Yates, Argentina. Oh my god, the map this is just is it's stand. chock full. We now know the leader's location. Take your time. However, you will need to do some recon to make sure you go. Now immediately we, we have first suspect. Suspect number here. one. Well. Blonde hair. Okay. Guess what? You're not a suspect. They are here for a business. Although they could be blonde they but shaved bald. Glasses, hat, tattoo, blonde. Suffers from allergies. And they like to read. Okay, so it's not it's not you. Because you were you had a different tell. You're also not a suspect. There's two handled already. You know what to do, forty seven. You do not have blonde hair? There's three handled already. Now we've only got six to worry about. Good start. Good start. Very economical. Now I just need to find a staircase up. Not to get seen by Ed Harris from The Truman Show. Holy cow. Could you guys chill with all the, the sussing? Look at how many people suss me. Now take me upstairs. It's nice up here, man. Smoking. Was smoking a tell? I think you have gray hair. You have blonde hair. Not not smoking. As a result, or your smoking is not one. As a result, you're not a suspect. Now you, on the other hand. Glasses, hat, tattoo, blonde hair, and allergic. All we need to do, if we see her read a book, it's on site. You're right, she's prime. Tailor-made, sir? Actually, I'm more of a titleist man, personally, but... Hey, well, you know what? I'm just happy to be out on the links, brother. Have a nice day. Have a good time. Have some wine. Try the Cabernet Sauvignon. Trust me. It's a delectable vintage. I'm going to maintain two meters of distance. Is 
Salt Bay susses me. That guy's going to turn around too. Just be careful. Is she reading a book? I just want to, if I see her read a book, it's over for her. It's where she does some of her best reading. Sus Bay. What did I tell you? I told you the Cabernet Sauvignon goes hard this year. Keep ducking. There's so many lookouts, man. Bro, there's too many lookouts. Oh, you can blend in, right. So anyway, then I said, no, I'm more of a Titleist guy. Ooh, are you reading a book, madam? She was, dude, she was reading a book. Or was that business meeting? That's not allergic. She's not allergic. She's reading. I think it's her. Doobie on my schlong. Thanks for the gifted subscription. Thank you. Thank you. Book symbol. Okay. My two cents. We have a remote duck. You can't suss me. Oh, we have a remote phone. Oh, it would be better to kill her stealthy, though. You're right. Because if somehow she's not the target, that would be bad. So let's just see if maybe she's got a little bit more. Maybe there's a better opportunity upstairs. Damn, Damn Daniel. At it again. With the men's warehouse. With the Moore's suit sale. Imagine if we had a lethal dart gun right now. It would be over. Tell me you didn't talk. Tell me you didn't Okay. I tell you, whoever thought they Everyone shut up, I'm trying to focus. I know it's a party, I just need you to be quiet. Bro, that's top sirloin, right? Actually, it might be cooked spam, that's even better. Why do you have to be such a baby all the time? Mr. Yates gave me No lookouts up here. A slice of meatloaf, garçon. Dude, this is this is it. Give give her something here. Put the scalpel away, Walter. Doesn't have to be on the first pass here. You can just get some intel. Maybe don't throw. Your scalpel, maybe throw your phone because it's not illegal. And then this is like, <laughs> I don't want to blow her up because that'll scare people. She dropped the phone. What the hell was that? Why did it go? Wah? Oh, because they didn't hide her body? <laughs> no, no, no. I still don't think it's her because she dropped her phone. Are you okay? Shit. Don't worry. I'll be back in a sec. Oh, crap. Excuse me. Can I get some help over here, please? Yeah, yeah. Go, go get a guard. Go get a guard. Never mind. Good job, you eliminated it was her. Note to self if you sedate the leader. I'll be in touch. They don't drop a phone. 
Or they do drop their phones sometimes. It was only when they fall in a banana that apparently they don't drop their phone. Now. Exit through the entrance. Like that Destroyer song on Kaput. I think we did it. <laughs> they all drop a phone? On New York, we had the target slip on a banana peel, and then they didn't drop a phone and we murdered them, and then we came up with the true, the heuristic that the leader doesn't drop a phone when they get knocked out. But apparently they do. Well, well, well. Campaign completed. There are those who thought it couldn't be done, and yet here we are. And actually, the, the finale was, like, not scary at all. Hey, Impressive. took it the Keru. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. The, the hardest mis mission on that one, Mumbai and Chongqing. Pre-sussed. Those were scary. Everything else was, was very solid. M Nelly 519 thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. I didn't expect a kaput reference here. Excuse me. Tuba Gooding Jr., Handsome Pansom, thank you as well. I, uh, I, and Turtles Fly, much appreciated. I'm a noted kaput enjoyer. It's one of my all-time favorite Vancouver albums. It's that or... I don't know, it's close. And thank you, Mr. McFun Pants as well. It's either kaput or it's post nothing. Hey, Dido, Bido, and equals you equals. Thank you as well. Equals underscore equals. No, we will not do hardcore mode. Well done, 47. Hard, because hardcore mode, if you don't do the prestige, prestige objective, you fail the mission. That's crazy. But being able to make poison in the in the shed seems incredible. You have deserved a break if you so choose. Let me know and Mega Mega Pighead, thank you as well. Thank you. Complete a game. You've successfully completed a campaign. When you are ready, select a new campaign. And I get a reward for completing it. A legendary antique curved knife that's completely straight. And we get to keep all of our gear. Ooh. <laughs> I can't be stopped. Hardcore mode has been unlocked. No, thank you. Hey, Pigeon Toast. Thank you as well. Thank you. I am I saw someone in chat say the Kaput's one of my favorites of the 2010s. It's just a vibe, man. One of the all-time great albums to listen to about Vancouver while you walk around in Vancouver. We will not enable hardcore mode. Let me go. Let me slash marker. Hitman. I can't believe we did it. Thoughts on the seawall? I think people in Vancouver are like addicted to not enjoying anything in the city. If you ask people like a, a week ago about the seawall, people would have said that like it's one of Vancouver's treasures. Then like one video essay comes out that's like there's no cafes on the seawall and people are like it's one of the most underutilized pieces of waterfront real estate in the world. Bro, it's just nice to walk around it. It would be nice if there were more cafes as well. Don't get me wrong. But like at the same time it's also nice that there's just like a beautiful walk outdoors where you're not like inundated with in, uh, commerce, you know, like where you don't have to spend money to enjoy yourself. 50k meme coin. Oh, baby. Anyway, take me out of here. Exit to main menu. I don't know what the heck we're going to do with, with 34 minutes. That's an awkward amount of time. Sobs. <laughs> I'm going to stretch it out first. I guess you could always do... You know what? We could always just do another... We could start up another campaign. You want to talk about a great endorsement? Hey, Handsome Pansom, thank you, thank you. You could always start a psycho campaign.
What's going on? I'm glitched. I'm not glitched. I'm glitched. I'm glitched. I have to reset the game. Quick um, Marvel Midnight Suns New Game Plus. Quick 101% playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. Quick um, reading the leaked script for the Last of Us season finale and then spoiling it for everybody in chat. Quick tier list of history's greatest monsters. Chibli, I know you, your week's already been ruined by weather events. Can I tell you something else? I, I X'd myself out of Dark and Darker before the beta ended. You know why? I hate to say it. I had, I had a moment where I went to YouTube and I said, hmm, this video is doing well. What is it? Super Auto Pets. Whoa, this video did really well. What is it? Tape to tape. Whoa, people hate these videos. What are they? Dark and Darker? No! Top comment, and I quote, editor's note, I'm making this up as I go along. Lil Bro is literally just sneaking around with brightness on 10, attacking brain dead skeletons that never pose any risk and then getting lit up by the first person he sees. Okay, play me. They're like 54 years old, who cares? That's my people. Someone that's 25 tells me a restaurant's good, I'm like, oh, so the food there tastes good. Who cares? If someone that's 55 tells me a restaurant's good, I'm like, bro, the parking spots must be expansive. They must have free refills. Check gun parts. Okay. We should just, like, straight up do whichever one is si uh, silent sniper rifle. I don't know if it's... Oh, arms trafficking, is it, right? Shotgun... Oh, it's my favorite maps, too. Shotgun kill, submachine gun kill, assault rifle kill, explosive kill, eliminate guards, assault rifle, eliminate guards, shotgun. And I have 53,000 man coin. I can buy whatever I choose. Oh, you want assassination. Can I tell you, for the life of me... I, I never read the description in advance. I literally just clicked through all of them. Now I realize, oh, assassination is like, that's probably going to be sniper, fiber wire. Yep, silence pistol. Big pharma is going to be like poison. Okay. And then sick games, I'm going to assume is a little bit poison related as well, but we've never done it because they want us to do Colorado. Is it? That's the true roguelite mode. Eco crime is probably accidents. Yep. Okay. Espionage, I don't know. Oh, do not blow your disguise. Do not get spotted. No, no, no kills. Poison again? No? Okay. Well, I'm like half, I'm halfway there. Anyway, give me, give me assassin. Oh, wait. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't give me assassin because I don't want to do dart more. I would never. Give me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, give me Hephaestus. Dartmoor is light work. Well, you're maybe better at the game than I am. Okay, I'm a simple man. New York comes last, sometimes not at all. Let's do Sapienza first. Eliminate guards with a shotgun. An explosive kill with a proximity. Melee kill with an epic collateral kill explosion. Do you see what I see? Proximity Explosive Mark Three. We could take one of those easy. We could take, uh, give me Collateral Kill Explosion. Well, let me take a look for a second. So I'm like, we could definitely kill three guards with a silent shotgun. By the way, Chibli, have you ever seen a stash that looked this freaking sick with it, man? Look at this. We're not going to use the knife, because there's only one target. So we have to kill that target with explosives. Whether or not we get the collateral, I mean, that's just, that's life. You know what I'm thinking? 
knock someone out. Place, drag their body into a place where the target sees it. They go, oh my God, what happened? They go over to the body. Hey, are you okay? Throw the proximity at their head so they get knocked out. Beep, 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 beep. They blow up. Collateral kill. It's textbook. Target might be a civilian. Oh, civilians don't wake up, or they, they don't try to wake other people up. Maybe, maybe that's guard-only behavior. Hang on. I'm buying some Canadian weed stocks. Oh, my Aurora cannabis. NL would be cracked at charades. I think I'm pretty good at charades. I'll be in touch when you reach your destination. I'm not afraid to, to give an Oscar-worthy performance. Like, some people play charades and they're like, you know. And I'm like, eating a stick of butter right out of the fridge. And they're like, you got it. But then some people are like. I'm definitely more in the latter camp. I'm still cheesed off that my my nieces didn't get Ferris wheel when I had Ferris wheel in, in charades and I was literally like I was like two words you know what to do and they were like two words and then I went like this and they were like two words and I was like oh fuck then I so they obviously don't understand the the way that you signaled what the second word is but anyway then I was like this and they were like spin round and then i was like okay that's good that's good and then i did this like i was good inch and i did it like 10 times and they just looked at me like what the heck is this guy doing and i was like look at the the this and this it's ferris wheel That's horrendous. What are you talking? How would you have done it? That's how I would have did it. Ex exactly. My target doesn't exist. This guy is going off. I don't think it's that hard to charade Ferris wheel. I think they just... Honestly, I don't think they know how good they had it. Okay, it seems like you are a, a housekeeper inside of the building. So here's what we do. And I'm going speedrun strats. It's probably going to start with something like this. He sucks so much at opening his door. Dude, like literally the doorbell rang. Come on. My high ass is not opening the door. I still open my door when it gets knocked on. I'm not that millennial pilled yet. I definitely do not answer my phone though. And in fact, while I stream, I have my phone face down on the desk. So that I'm not even letting it enter like my my mental state to know that I'm gonna have a voicemail later. Sorry, brother. It's always been you. I've never answered my door in my life. That seems crazy to me. I mean, they, let me just tell you, maybe you're a little bit on the younger side. Door knocks have never been in shorter supply than they are right now. Dude, that's such an easy kill there. Like nobody, not, it, back in the day you used to get like, you know, I'm sure in the 50s you had like traveling salesmen and stuff like that. But even in the 90s and 2000s, people would just come to your door and be like, do you want to buy some Avon or something like that? 
obviously that doesn't really exist anymore. Also, yeah, people used to just come over to, like, my grandparents or my parents' house and knock on the door and be like, you know, hi, want to hang out? And they'd be like, sure. That shit does not... That's like a war crime for a millennial or Gen Z, I guess. Myself included. If one of my friends just came to my house, I would be like, are you fucking insane? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing shit. I'm not going to say I'm busy, but like I'm doing my own shit right now. Well, as a kid, it's like a different story. Just following her, just shadowing her. Where are you going? Where are you going, sister? That's gonna Still got it. This will surely be a blow to the sacred. Return to the safe house. Collect yourself. I'll be in touch. Why? Well, I don't know. I was looking at how to set up the, the prestige kill, and I was just like, I don't know, some things in life aren't worth it. Oh my I mean, we got 49,000 man coin. We can afford to get a little bit sloppy. It wasn't even that sloppy. We just got shot at a couple times. Mm -hmm. I, little bro completes one campaign and thinks he's invincible? Yes. I don't think any... I, I don't think I'll ever lose a mission ever again. Ghibli is the type of guy to just come into your chat and type Hitman themed blowjob. What does that even mean? She got a barcode on the back of her head? Impressive work you did back there. I'm ready when you've prepped the Me at the self-checkout being asked by security to leave yet again? <laughs> Please wait for assistance. Please wait for assistance. Please wait for assistance. You can scan the rest of your items. Help will be on the on its way shortly. Take me to Bangkok. And honestly, give me my shotgun. Unexpected item in bagging area. Emetic syringe goes crazy. Headshot kill with a legendary. I don't have a legendary firearm. I do have an epic SMG though. An epic SMG. And then just leave your shotgun behind, because it's it's worth more in our stash. Dump. Oh, you're right. I do have a legendary sniper now that I think about it. Keep your emetic syringe. I mean, this is, this is good enough. Ornamental SMG is legendary. Hold on. We're going to, we're going to, and I think he might be right, but we're going to check out the one guy in this one. Ornamental SMG is legendary. Absolutely right. We're going to plus two that guy. Look at that. It happens. Never let anybody tell you it doesn't happen. It happens. Okay, 50,000 man coin. 48,000 man coin. Don't lose that SMG, it costs 40,000 to replace. You know this shit is not real, right? Have a good trip. Like, <laughs> I'm just losing it with the amount. Like, doesn't it make it hard to go through the real world when you're this attached to digital vapor? You know, like when you buy a sandwich, the money's not coming back into your hands. You know, after you eat the sandwich, the sandwich is not going to rematerialize. It's like you use things for their utility. And then some things, after you use them for their utility, they're all used up. And that's okay. Welcome to Bangkok. If as long as you got something out of it. tells us that the operative syndicate members are currently in the area. 
track them down and do what you do best. Good luck. I just don't understand what the. I mean, forty thousand imaginary coins or forty thousand imaginary coins. Well, yeah, but like losing a campaign is losing a campaign. You, you know, people are, they're so focused on the the minutia of the economy. Checking in. Name's Tobias Reaper. Thank you so much, sir. Here's your key card. Welcome Thank to the you. Thank you. No, I'm not gonna. I know. I know my way around. I've been here before. Now this seems like a beautiful emetic poison to bathroom setup. Is this guy like a VIP or something? <laughs> He's surrounded. And then he comes over here. I'm just going on to your... What are these chairs called? I'm going on to your Muskoka chair. Okay, I think it looks like this. Do not drop your briefcase, though. Dude, they're on the they're on intersecting cycles, man. It's not fair. I don't have a non-sus throwable. So you just got to be a little careful here. She comes over. Honestly, she's obsessed with him. I think I know what I'm doing. You could do him last and just shoot and run to the exit, but that's how we die on this map quite often. Okay, he finally left. He's his bodyguard? Holy cow, it's so annoying. Did I take a proximity mine with me? I didn't. This is crazy. He's just sitting down. Okay, well, I think you're right. I think he's got to be last. I didn't even know I could come in this way. And then you're on the staff side. So I know how to get on the staff side. It would be nice to have a staff's uniform on the way. You gonna watch the Jake Paul versus Tommy Fumbles fight that's coming up soon? I'd say safe bet. I'm gonna see if maybe they'll give me courtside seats for this one. It seems like that's like a lot of YouTubers get courtside seats to the, to the boxings. I haven't had the opportunity yet. I haven't had the pleasure, but uh, I'd love to sit next to the some of the luminaries in our industry. Sorry. What? Sorry. You there? I'm sorry, but you're not allowed to be here. Please leave. Okay, that's my bad. Excuse me. I don't. Can I help you? Yes. Oh man, I'm getting out of here. Oh, thank God. I need some help, please. What happened? <laughs> He asked me to leave and I left. He is just so scared of talking to a stranger. Honestly, I kind of feel bad for him. I'm literally a nice guy. Until you get to know me. Now, how about one of these? That's more along the lines of what we're talking about here. Then, try a different tact here. I don't even care, unconscious witness. Who cares? Not me. Dump his body.
Now I'm a gardener. I can go where I please. I should be allowed to go inside. Maybe I just have to sign some forms in order to maintain my employment here. Nope. I am not allowed to be here. But I'm probably allowed to be here. Yes! My intuition. Okay. Am I allowed to be out here? Yes, this is where... Oh, I know you! I know you! Dude, it's been a while. Since we gave someone a diarrhea dart. Submachine gun kill with an epic? Well, we just follow him into the bathroom, pull out the piece, and then shoot him in the head 70 times. Honestly, I might not even wait till he gets to the bathroom. <laughs> If you'll excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're lucky. You're lucky. There was a narrow window there. I don't have a lot of self-control, so that, that really took it out of me. I have to eat some pretzels to make that up to my brain. Bro, where the hell is the bathroom? It's a long walk. Let's go! Pretty disgusting. Excellent work, 47. You've spread fear also, within the city. I know that he's throwing up, but like, this is not my first choice of toilet to throw up in. I probably would have looked for like a cleaner toilet. I get that it, you're vomiting to begin with, so you're going to make it messy, but th this shit is disgusting. This is like the grossest toilet I've ever seen in my life. I have a gun on my back. I have a gun on my back. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, I needed your Mercedes. If you'll excuse me, please take the gun off your back. I have a... Please get in the bathroom. Retrieve your scalpel. Conceal the gun. Become the exterminator. And run for your life. And then hide the scalpel. <laughs> That was a big save. It never should have gone that badly, but it was a nice recovery after it went horrendously. Go to the vendor? No, I'm never going back to that basement ever again. I'm already wearing this guy's underpants that he freaking bricked up in. I'm not allowed in here. Just run. Book it. And the mask? I'm not worried about the mask. You ever throw up in your own mouth? At least this is on the outside of my mouth. Why would you put on his underpants? It's called method acting. It's how Dustin Hoffman won the Oscar for Kramer vs. Kramer. Sir Lawrence Olivier said, My dear boy, have you ever considered uh, trying acting? <laughs> And then, to which Dustin Hoffman replied, Madam, if you were my wife, I would drink it. <laughs> to which Laurence Olivier replied, When I wake up, that may be true, but when I wake up, I'll be sober. You'll still be ugly. <laughs> to which Dustin Hoffman said, Bazinga! Give me a second here. I mean, this guy is still like a real problem. He's surrounded by, surrounded by people. 
snipe them? Bro, you typed it 20 times. I don't have a sniper. I have, I have an SMG. Like, it's... I'm going to be down here with the guards going... He's going to be going... But he's never going to die. It's not going to work. I am just going to push his ass over. <laughs> and then sprint. Worst plan of all time, perhaps? So wait, she's going to leave. We distract you. We push him over the edge. She's got... She's nearsighted. There's no armed guards. What about this guy right here? At the end of the pier. That's a great idea. Put the scalpel on the chair so they sit on it. And spin. I mean, I'm also feeling like there's a chance. You could just be like... You just crack this dude on the back of the head. And then crack this dude on the front of the head. Cut his throat and then run for your life. This will surely be a blow to the syndicate. You should get back to the safe house. I'll contact you later. This uh, this feels familiar. <laughs> Heart rate getting a little higher than usual. Ooh. <laughs> Not punished. Didn't even shoot me. That's good. That's good trigger discipline. And we actually got a prestige objective too. I mean, to not die when my level of like self-control is, is at a zero after winning a campaign, that feels damn good. That feels like progress. Somehow heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Honestly, I bet in six minutes we could do the other mission. Excellent work back there. Give me the time trial and just blast. <laughs> just do movie to movie? No, I've been bad at it lately. So I think that it fell off. Um, Excellent. We have now tracked down the syndicate leaders located. Let me get uh, neutralize an assassin. Let me drop all of my good gear because uh, I've provided you with new realistically intel. speaking, we might not make it out of this one. Let me drop this crowbar. We can use that in the future. Mm, is this a sedative syringe? What kind of syringe are you? Lethal syringe. Ooh, baby. Can you guess this game? Metacritic, 96%. Okay, I'm going to say that that's Grand Theft Auto V. It's Red Dead Redemption. Your game fell off. Hey! Always leave on a green candle. Have a good trip. Wrong. Gex 2. It was my friend's birthday party in the fifth grade. I, he, I knew he wanted a PlayStation 1 game. I told my mom to get him Gex 2. It was a PlayStation greatest hit, so it's 1999. Not that expensive, even though it was also 1999, maybe. Maybe it was 1998. Anyway, she comes back from the store. She says, is this what you wanted? Lady bought Gex well, 1. To New York. It's not even Enter the Gecko. Gex 2 is like a 3D platformer in the same vein as like a Banjo-Kazooie. Gex 1 is a 2D side-scrolling platformer. Mom, you're going to get me cyberbullied. We also have the following description on their looks. We know that they have blonde hair. They are wearing a necklace. They are wearing a hat and earrings. As to habits and vices, your target is a smoker. And last but not least, they have a sweet tooth. I hope these tells can be used to your it's advantage. It's not her. Godspeed, 47. 
Imagine if it were, though. <laughs> Imagine if it were. <laughs> It's a low risk uh, guess. Just checking. Bro, she's not going in. Oh shit. No way. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? You need to hurry. The target is trying to escape. I'm a genius. Good job, 40 seconds. You eliminated the leader. You should get back to the safe house. This game is actually kind of easy when you <laughs> don't care if you are stealthy or not. Well, well, well. That would have been a great time trial. We still got two minutes left, too. Well done, 47. This will make anyone think twice before turning to a life of crime. I mean, it would make me think twice before looking to a life of crime. You got another two minutes, go for another. Okay, just give me a second here. <laughs> Henchman! No, it's 159. Do you lose 50 or 500 for every non-target killed? Excellent, 47. 50? Oh, it's nothing. But we have intel that there are more connected. Let I lose that much on uh, brokerage fees every time I play the stock market. And let me know when you are ready. And reward crate. It's actually garbage. It's actually extreme detritus. This guy still pays brokerage fees? Of course he plays he pays brokerage fees. He's old, look at him. What the hell? <laughs> I got scammed. Okay, okay. Slash marker. Jokerage fees. Joker, what you're gonna do? Um you need to get mm, two diamonds. And once you get two diamonds, you can Go to a crafting enchantment table. And on an enchantment table, you're going to roll until you get fortune three. And then you're going to use fortune three to make a diamond pickaxe. Hold on. Joker, Elon, and Joe Rogan play Minecraft. I am a dwarf, and I'm digging a hole. Any of you guys get any? <laughs> I don't think it's the one I originally saw. Do not listen to the end of that video. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, Google Chrome doesn't load videos nicely anyway. Anyway, let me see if, uh, if Kate's ready to go. Hello. Are you ready to stream? What did I do for lunch today, man? I've had too many ham sandwiches lately. It's because I went to Costco and I bought all this ham and bread. <laughs> I guess I'll have a ham and cheese croissant. Kirkland Signature Croissant, Kirkland Signature Ham, Kirkland Signature Cheese. 
And then uh, just to compensate for that, not containing any fruits or vegetables, I'll just take like four multivitamins at the same time. A couple of peanut butter pretzels on the side. My streamer. I guess we could do guess the game real quick. Kirkland multivitamin. No, we got these on Amazon. You know how there's a brand called One A Day? These ones are legit called Two A Day. It's like they, it's like there was a brand called like Best Value, and they made their own slogan like Second Best Value. They know their place, and and I respect that. Okay, Kate's already live. Let's do guess the game real quick. This is Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Metacritic score of 94. This is Metal Gear Solid 4, Peace, Guns of the Patriots. Original platform, Xbox 360. This is Gears of War 2. Me, me playing Gears of War 2 and pressing the 4 button on my Xbox 360 controller. This is Gears of War 1. I nailed it. Look at that. Gears Tactics was a pretty good game. I remember that. I remember playing an hour of that on Game Pass and being like, this is a pretty good game. I mean, it's no Marvel's Midnight Suns, but anyway. Hey, I'll see you uh, tomorrow for something plus Jackbox. Maybe it won't be Hitman. I Honestly, I feel like we could take a day off from Hitman. Obviously, at the end of this stream, my Hitman muscles were, were just screaming. They were, out of, they were out of ATP. They were filled with lactic acid. We'll do something else. Anyway, see you.